We're finishing EU on my 25th month anniversary. How appropriate.
Oh shit, we have an ad break coming up in two minutes. Oh, and I can't even snooze it. No! Oh, where are my chatters at? All right, you know the drill. Drop an emote in the chat. Let me get those hellos. Yo, we got so many people sweeping up Leo right now. Wait, who's this cute little lava bell? I mean, maybe I know if I turned on my, my thingamabop. Yes, get the nodders, get the nodders. I wanna see the nodders. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Hello, Fred. Oh. Hi, everybody. It has been a short while since I've been live. I've been so busy with KupoCon and meeting some of the community members, some of the coven in real life. And oh my God, I got, I got dry boogers in here. Holy shit. I'm gonna get a nosebleed. Tis the, tis that time of year. Holy shit, my nose is hurting. Anybody else get like really bad nosebleeds in the winter? Holy fuck. All right, let me let me make my dues. Shattered scorn. Hello, hi dentist. Hello, Ken. Hello, another lid. Hello, Joker. Sorry, oh, hell. Hello. Hello, Nixie. Oh. Hi, Sarah. Hope you're well. Thank you for the thousand biddies. I am. Thank you. Nick, so how are you, babe? Con withdrawal is real. <laughs> so true. Buffy, hello. Guyan, hello. Mango, That's hey, Scary much. Squash. Hello, Eternal. Hi, hi, Adorable. Hello, hello, Rebel. Hello, Fippy. Hello, Denise. Hello, Krona. Hello, Knessa. Hello, Deadpool. Hello, Doran. El, Ndagi. Maldalgador. Hello, 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 guys. Soren, hi. Ur Urban Serpent, hello. Koivy, hello, Sage. It's nice to see you, Finn. Hello, Velos. Hi. Hi, Jacko. Hello. Oh my goodness, and very quickly now, very quickly. I'm sorry if I missed you, but let me go through my alerts. Andy, thank you for the 16 month resub. Kent, thank you for the 17 month dentist. Thank you for the tier 3 25 month resub. We're finishing end marker on my 25th anniversary. Might be. We might be finishing it today. I don't know. We're going to try. Hello, hello. Dentist, thank you, by the way, for the 50 gifted subs. To everybody that was gifted a sub, welcome to the Covenant of your Badger Moats and your stay. Thank you. Is anyone gonna trump dentist this month? Is anyone gonna pass 50? He's number one. Someone should take his spot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support and the love. Sackington, thank you for the tier two, two month resub. Hello, hello. Thank you. I appreciate it. Firebird, thank you for the one year resub. Yay, my sub anniversary on the Endwalker anniversary on the Endwalker completion stream. Wait, this is today the Endwalker anniversary? I thought it was November. I thought it was November. Is it today? Oh yeah, it did get delayed. Oh my God, wait, is it actually today? Because if it's today, that means I've officially been playing Final Fantasy 14 for two years and two weeks. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Oh my God. Okay. If, okay, now I have to finish it. We have to finish it by December 7th, 11.59 EST. We got this. Oh my goodness. But Firebird, thank you for the one year resub. Nonetheless, I appreciate it. I did that. Thank you for the five months resub. Guys, thank you for the 20 months. I appreciate it. We have an ad rolling right now because someone can command ads in the chat real quick. I am so sorry if you have ads right now. If you uh, let them know, by the way, because I haven't updated yet, that Turbo, Twitch Turbo also gets them out of ads. So they don't actually have to sub to me, but it would be really cool if they did because I love my subs. Um, but Twitch Turbo, can get you out of that. Oh my God, is my, okay, my, my bot's working. Okay, perfect. Um, Boo, thank you for the eight months. Thank you. And Goose, thank you for the two month race. Oh no, the four month race. So thank you so much. Thank you. And John, thank you for the 77 month race. Up. Holy fuck, 77 months. That's crazy. Nislan, hello. She lost it when I said y'all thought she could rip y'all in two. And I want her to, Nissan. That's the thing. Jamie, I hope you're well. I miss you. Oh my goodness, chat. Hello, hello. So before we talk about KupoCon, real quick. Before we talk about KupoCon real quick, I want to touch on something um, important to the stream, okay? So, I love my gifted subs. We all know this. We all know this. We got sub goals to hit, baby. We got goals to hit, okay? That being said, though, I really, really, really want to push for Partner Plus. Trivia Ninja, thank you for the point, my three sub. Welcome back. Cry unto the end. Yes, we will keep crying. With all of these people here, 
Sweeping up poor Leo. We will cry unto the end. I don't even know some of these people. Some of these people are probably just random, random people from, from <laughs> Charlian. This is hilarious. <laughs> um, but I, I very, yes, from PP. Pee -pee. Yes, from PP. Pee -pee. Forgot to attune my credit card. The despair of ads will not get me. Thank you for tuning with your credit card. I appreciate it. Um, but yes, yeah, so I, I will be pushing for Partner Plus. We want to get that pee, pee We want to get that nice, big pee, pee okay? But here's the kicker. The thing with Partner Plus is they have to be organic subs. So individual subs. It cannot be a gifted sub. I don't actually know if Prime Sub counts, but it has to be you and your credit card which really sucks and we need 350 points for that so that's and so tier one subs count as one point tier two tier two counts as three or two and then tier three counts as six organic free range grass fed exactly exactly i need my organic free <laughs> my, my organic free range subs where are my free range subs so Unfortunately, gifted subs do get rid of that because anyone who could sub, unfortunately, will not be able to now count for towards partner plus. But that's honestly okay. Like it's really not the okay. end of the world. Free range sub. <laughs> Thank you for the four months resub fits. I appreciate it. Can I upgrade to tier three? Yes, you can upgrade your um your subs. So if you are a tier one sub or a tier two, you can upgrade it. This is kind of you by multiple months at the same time. I would assume so. I don't see why it wouldn't. I think that's also the play. I think I remember seeing people on Twitch either say like that's the play or that's not the play. I think like if you do a three month sub that counts for three months of the partner plus points. Because I need to have 350 for three months straight. And I know we can do that. Um, but, but I didn't know prime sub matters. Does it affect affiliate friends negatively? I, I honestly don't know. I will do more research. Like, I feel like I do know this. I just like, I'm forgetting, you know, I'm, I'm not the brightest. We know this. I literally just hit the go live button and shoot the shit, you know? Um, I will say like the partner plus program is really nice uh, because in case you didn't know, I if I hit that 350, I actually will get the 70, 30 split. Because right now we're only getting the 50-50 split. And it's not, it's not the end of the world. But if I can make more money doing this and entertaining y'all. Then that would be really nice, you know. Um, here, okay, let's read this really quickly. Let's read this very quickly. Um... See. Stuff like games to give the 17 month primary so I appreciate it. Let's see. Okay, so so okay, here we go. Here, I'll show I'll show ch chat, I'll show you all this. For full transparency, so you so you know I'm I'm, what, I, I'm telling the truth. So uh, recurring paid subs of any tier will apply to the 350 um, goal. Um, gifted subs do not count. Prime subs, unfortunately, do not count. However, once we do hit the 70-30 split, gifted subs will count for that. Prime subs, unfortunately, will not, which still sucks. But, but once we hit that 350, all the gifted subs, I'll get 70% 70, 70 of instead of 50% of, which is fucking sweet we love to see it so again no pressure if you can't afford it that's totally okay if it's not in your means to do so like to to upgrade your sub or sub manually with your credit card literally it is fine do not worry about it but for those that are able this would help me so much because i want to create i want to continue creating content for you all regardless of if i have the 50 50 or 70 30 but that 70 30 does make a huge quality of life difference for me um so if anyone is able, go for it. If not, that's okay. <laughs> I check face up. <laughs> ah, but yeah. So we will be working towards that. I am going to Alec. Oh well, this rolled over while talking about it. 
Meant to be. Thank you for the tier three 18 month resub. And L, thank you for upgrading to a tier two. Thank you for the tier two 10 month resub. L and four three months in events. Thank you, L. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, but, but yeah, what I want to do one of these days is sit down with my mods and we're going to go over it. We're going to figure out some, um, some like stream friendly alerts and counter, not counters, um, commands and stuff for chat, um, to help with, with that. But for the time being, thank you so much for all the gifted subs. Thank you for all the resubs. I appreciate it so, so, so much. And actually, I want to see what we're at, actually. I actually want to see what we're at. Mark, thank you for the tier three resub. And Nano, thank you for the tier two resub. Thank you, everybody, for upgrading. I appreciate it. Hello, Larry. Hello, Grits. Hello, hello. Toss a sub to your streamer. Attuned to the pussy. <laughs> Okay, where can I see what we're at? Oh, here we go. Because we've got a lot of subs. So here's the thing too. All of this, our sub goal period, this allows us to get more emotes, which I fuck with. The more emotes, the fucking merrier, right? So let's see. Okay, we're at, let's see, this month for December, we're at 26. 26 resubs starting from December 1st. I haven't even streamed since then. It's 26, because those 50 don't count. <laughs> Let's see. November, we were at 164. October, we were at 133. And September, we were at 152. Okay, we got this. So, so we need 324 more people to resub <laughs> organically. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, hi chat. I have just returned from KupoCon, which was in Toronto, so I guess I didn't really return from it. I was always kind of here. KupoCon was so much fun. My anxiety, and oh, my food is here. My anxiety, unfortunately, Jasmine, thank you for the Prime sub, I appreciate it, um, was unfortunately through the roof, so I couldn't actually attend the convention itself, but I did hang out with our community nonetheless, and I did go to the ball, and I also hosted that party at Offworld. Unfortunately, the voice actors couldn't make it for reasons that I will not disclose. Um, but that's okay. I had a great weekend. It was so unreal meeting so many of you. This was such a small and random convention. It's not even like an official Final Fantasy convention. It was It's one run by fans. And so the fact that so many of you literally flew out to Toronto, not just to go to the con, but to meet me and meet other community members, it warms my heart. Like that is something that I truly will never forget. I will never forget that. I got to I got to meet CJ for the first time, one of our mods. I got to meet Nissan for the first time, another one of our mods. Hung out with Kelsey, who I've met before. Um, so it was really cool having the mods meet. I got to meet Dentist. Uh, it was just... I don't know. And truly, there are no words that can describe what that weekend meant to be. Meant to me. Um, I have a photo that I would love to show you. I think Dentist posted it in his tweet. So we these are two photos that I will remember forever as well. We have this one right here. Oh my god, look how many of you there are now. There's this one right here. This is this is some of our community members doing show left and show right to Pepper, AKA me, which is so fucking funny. I don't even remember who decided to do it, like to start it, but y'all went with it. It was so, it was so good. It was so funny. So I edited some sparkles to make it just like the, just like the emotes. And then, and then whoever, most of us, well, not most, half of us who were at the off-world event attuned. They did it. They attuned to the pussy. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I look so small. I look so itty bitty. The hat I'm wearing is the one I stole from Ben Star. Fantastic. Yeah. This photo is so fucking good. It's so good. There's there's another one that's actually a little bit better than this. Den is an imposter, but that's totally fine. But it's so funny. It's so, so, so good. I got to meet Tiffany as well. Tiffany Lockhart. She spent most... Actually, she spent pretty much all the weekend with me. Um, 
and that was a lot of fun. She crashed at my place too. Re it was just this weekend really, it really made me feel like I do have a community that I belong in. You know, I've talked about this many times to you before chat where, you know, as much as I love streaming and all that stuff, I have never really felt like I was a part of something. Even when I was in the Overwatch community, I still felt like I was just some hot girl that was dating someone who played Overwatch. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't really feel like I had personality, like I had something. But with Final Fantasy XIV, I do have something. I have a community within a community. And, and it's great. And it's really great. And I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. And I hope that one day we get I get to meet the rest of you at a different convention, you know? Okay, Matt, thank you for the prom sub. To everybody I got gifted a sub from Country Back Month and her stay. So out here with the best hair, always. Thank you for tuning. As someone who switched from WoW, I 100 percent agree. Is the WoW community not welcoming Evie? And also, hello, Evie. Koopacon Vancouver, now. Sarah is a person, we value her as a person. Thank you, Mango. And I think that's the thing too. Hi, Richie. I think that's the that's the thing. I don't always feel like I'm valued as a as a person, like as an individual. You know? Your community has been so polite to me. Well, we try. <laughs> Hi, Riku. The WoW community hates themselves? Really? Why? Like, ironically or unironically? No way that Overwatch person had more personality to you. They're lost. Thanks, Gritz. But that's not what I mean. I'm not trying to compare myself to that person. What I'm saying, like, that is actually not what I'm saying at all. You are completely not understanding what I'm talking about. What I mean is I didn't feel like I belonged because I, I as an individual, was not valued as an individual and going to um going to the uh overwatch grand finals in toronto also reinforced that people ignored me because it was awful it was fucking awful and people are trash that's it people suck people's true colors show when when others are around them you know what i mean does that make sense there's also something that I, I've, I've been I've been learning the hard way. If someone can't can't defend me, then I don't want them. I I had to learn that learn that the hard way. I've I've had to learn how to hold my ground, put up my boundaries, respect my boundaries and other people's boundaries, and a lot that's happened in the last like couple of months have really like drilled some of that in, you know. Chris, I remember you more than any other Overwatch person from when I was in the Overwatch community. Really? Thank you. That that actually means a ton to me. Thank you. Been in here since post Rumble, and you have become one of my favorite streamers. Oh, thank you, Gamer Jen. That's so fucking sweet. And I'm glad you came in during post Rumble because I hate his Trump blood. So, <laughs> thank you. Hold on. Benedict posted this. If, if for my next animation, I'm looking for voice actors who could do impressions of Alfino and Alize. Um, if you need a Loperit, hit me up. I better go see vouches. You know, Benedict, I didn't even properly meet him. He was at the off-world event. He came to my event that I hosted and I didn't even actually meet him. No one introduced, he was at my booth. I sat at my booth and not a single person said, hey, Sarah, this is Benedict. Nobody introduced us to one another. Gamers, come on. <laughs> I'll have to send him a DM and be like, bro, I hope you enjoyed the party. <laughs> I usually leave early because I still want to play FF14 and seeing your FF14 tweets are always the cutest. Oh my God, oh look, you will love this game. This game is very, 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 very fun. It's very fun, very funny, very community driven. I think you'd love it. I met him and told him I was your biggest simp. Amazing. I've been trying to get you to collab with, with Adon. I'm doing my part. Wait, who's Adon? Oh, the person you tweeted me in? I see you, girl. I see you making moves. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Captain, how are you? Hello. Okay, so I'm getting sweaty and my food is at the door. So here's the plan, okay? Here's the plan for the night. 
I'm gonna dump my tweet in here. And you're all... Was so fun meeting you at CoopoCon. Griffin, thank you for the love of my reason. I hope you're... Oh my God, Four and back one to quarter back. years, baby. <sighs> yeah, I can't catch a break. Every time I've been having an awful day and breakdown, your stream and Vodis always help my me Vodis. smile and laugh. Vodis your nuts. streams are a treasure and a delicious. And a deliched. Thank you. Thank you for the 11 month reason of Caleb. Thank you for the four and a quarter years, baby. Thank you for the 51 month reason. I love you. And Brett, thank you for the four month reason. Thank you so, 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 so much. But like I was saying, very quickly, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go get my food. I'm going to take this off. You guys are going to go like that tweet or give it a retweet or give it a reply, whatever it is, bookmark it, whatever. We're going to help with that. And guys, you mount. And then... We're going to get right into Endwalker. All right, I'll see you guys in just una momento, por favor. Holy shit, look how many people are sweeping for Leo. Heart emoji. <laughs> Have you all been good? Did you miss me? Where'd you go? Where's chat? Chad, did you die? Hello? Are you the great general Kenobi reincarnated? Yes, I am, actually. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, but yes, I am. Okay. Mama? Mommy? Oh my god, there are literally so many people here. This is so funny. This is so funny. All right, how is the... Hello, Lava! My back and knees are still killing me from Sunday. Oh my God, same. My knees are only finally recovering. There are so many people here sweeping up poor Leo. This is so funny. All right, if any of you who are... Who are <laughs> are here sweeping part of the community and uh, you don't have me added yet feel free to take the time to send me a friend request um i'm still 
working on cleaning up my um my friend list. Hi Ashley, where's your shirt from? I don't remember, girl. I think Urban Outfitters or something. Who just kissed me? Did someone just kiss me? Mmm. Chat. I got more Thai fr um, fried rice. It's so good. I might take a nap with you in the background. No worries. Take your nappy. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna want my Leo, but that's okay. Oh my god! By the way! This is what I'm here for, baby, but no spoilers for me. After them, unfortunately, you have to leave. Thank you for the prime sub! Joker, before you disappear. Little Joker plushie you got me? I put him back here. I told you. You're taking good care of me. And now, when I feel anxious on the stream, I know I've got my little anxious twin with me. <laughs> yeah, you're on Gengar. I told you I'd put you in my back, in my background. Oh, Waldo's with me. I'm not on the Discord, so I'm not sure you want me on your friends list. I don't mean my Discord friends list. I mean my in-game friends list. I don't accept friend requests on Discord. I'm sorry. No, top is like Laura. If Laura Croft didn't want any blood stains, are you telling me I have triangular boobs? Hello, Viper. No, we don't need to sleep before work tomorrow, right? No, not at all. You're gonna pull an all nighter with me. Chat. Are y'all gonna stay up with me all night? Until the end of stream? Or are some of you gonna clock out? Polygonal pepper peps. No. But you could actually finish tonight? Well, that's the plan. <clears throat> the plan is to actually finish tonight. I'm not sure if I will, but I am trying to. So time for the weekend? Understandable. I'm so tired. I literally, like, I literally did not work today because of that. Or yesterday. I did not work yesterday because of that. I had to do, like, a full revival you know, I spent all day on my couch just napping in and out or off and on. Mm. Oh my god. I love fried rice. Okay. I don't even know who I can remove. I don't even remember how many of these are alts or like actual accounts. I don't even remember who some of these people are. I'm gonna have to start like keeping track. So I'm ready? Hell yeah, Abel. I'm from the EU and you bet your ass is staying up for this? Oh, you're dedicated then. What time is it for you right now? Is it 1 a.m.? You could open an ASMR channel and we just eat on mic. Should I? Wait, dentist, is Pedro Pascal your alt? Because if it's your alt, oh, it is your alt. So I'm not gonna accept you. I'm not, I'm gonna try not to have alts on my account. Portugal? Holy shit. Is it also 140 for you in Portugal, Pippi? Big boy, so you can share? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, it's all mine. I'm gonna start writing down the names of our moves so I'll remember them. Mm-hmm. Me too. I feel so bad. I feel so, so, so bad. I hope they increase the friend limit. Like, 200 is not enough. There are so many amazing people that I've met in this game. Whether they're a viewer or just a random person I've met through, like, role-playing and stuff, you know? And I want to keep them, but I don't remember everybody. Their game name, their Twitch name? <laughs> if only. That 200 is tiny. Massive bowl, true. Also, welcome first time chatters, hello, hello. My name is Syra, which I'm sure you know. I am a Final Fantasy XIV streamer, and we are still getting through N Walker. Mm. I've never RP'd. I've done a lot of light RP, low key. Don't tell anyone. It's fun, it's fun. 
it kind of like scratches my itch for fanfic writing. You know, like, not really a controlled environment, but still. <clears throat> hey, bars! This bowl is really yummy. It's um, Thai chicken fried rice with like some sort of vinaigrette, which kind of tastes like a Christmas tree, and then chili oil and chili flakes. There's bok choy, lime, cucumber, tomato, onion, and um, yeah, that's kind of it. Mmm, it's very yummy. Guys, I love you. I hope you're well. You gotta give me poutine. Did you, did you never try poutine when you were here? Wait. So not only do you have your Amanda Lane RP account, you also have Urianje and Lala Zenos? What's Lala Zenos like? Mmm, I forgot the barbecue. Okay, valid. Okay, well, next time, we'll get poutine. There's a big blow for the tiny person. Do y'all think? Okay. What do you think I'm gonna finish first? Endwalker or this bowl of fried rice? <laughs> Damn the bowl, eh? Oh, Richie. <clears throat> I love improv and it definitely does help. Having a theatrical background definitely helps with RP, but If you're RPing for people that you trust, like friends, it just kind of feels like, it just feels like D&D. &D. It's natural, you know? How hungry are you? Not that hungry. Hungry, but not that hungry. It's not my first meal of the day. I will say that much. I had ramen earlier. And I scrapped that shit down. Oh, chap. Okay. Can you keep it between us? Can I tell y'all a secret? I'm glad you're back to eating proper. Thank you. I am too. I'm glad that my diet is back and I'm able to eat. buying a bunch of stuff from a store okay and I was kind of upset I'm like man my order is gonna be really expensive like my my receipt you know it's gonna be like 80 something dollars they forgot to scan one of the items so I only paid $20 I felt so happy but here's the kicker Here's a kicker. Here's a kicker, okay? It just happened again. I went to Sephora to buy makeup. And the foundation that I use is $54 without tax, okay? And I thought, I'm gonna buy two. And then I thought, nah, I don't feel like paying $100. I can't afford that right now. Fuck, I'm already holding both bottles. Fuck, I've already walked too far. I'm not turning around. They only scanned one of them. But the, the thing didn't go off. So they like, they did the thing. It was like, they did the thing. again today I ordered my ramen and normally when I get karage with it you get two pieces I got three 
I got three. Like, this is literally like the world saying, I'm sorry for giving you so much shit. Take this as an apology. It, like, I will say though, um, the, the cashier at like, um, at Sephora, we were chit chatting and he was like, oh my God, you're the second Syrah that I like served, served, um, cashed out today. And like, I've only cashed out three people, including you. So like two out of three Syrahs, like that's insane. And I'm like, that's a good omen because I never really meet other Syrahs. And when I do, it's like, they're years apart. I, you never meet like more than one Syrah. And he was like, oh my God, like that is so fucking crazy. And I think like during that, I think he just gave it to me. I think it was just like, here you go. Cause I told him it was a good omen. And he started talking about like, he was like, what's your sign? So it's like, okay, it, it's a gift. <laughs> we take those dubs. We take these dubs. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but we take those. Blurb! I give her the four year resub. Oh, CJ, hey! Sonzo, thank you for the sub, hello! Davey, hello! I did, I'm using cheat codes IRL. I truly am. Okay, so. Real quick. Is there anyone here sweeping? that is from chat and wants to add me because we can get this out of the way very quickly if not that's totally fine i don't need to add you either i know it's a party cj vlad and caleb the homies this is going to be about stealing like makeup and chicken <laughs> hey look listen i respect chicken stealers Chicken is good. If I can get more, I will. You know how good it feels to order like a six piece chicken nugget set from McDonald's and then you get seven? Hello, Mr. Dallas. I'm Genesis, you added me ages ago. Well, yeah, of course if I have you added, don't worry about it. I mean, for anyone who's here that I don't have added. I am but a humble dancing bunny row. I don't have a broom. <laughs> I think, okay, I, who on here can I even remove? I don't know. Who's this? I don't know who this is. I'm sorry, goodbye. I feel so bad. I feel so sad. Who's this? Who's this? I have so many friends. Oh my god, another Orshi. I have to keep all the Orshis. Oh, Mel, Mel! Yes, you get accepted. Bro, I only knew you from Twitter for weeks. I joined your stream and you're actually the coolest and most person ever. All the good for you and good luck for the party. But thank you, Sansan. I appreciate that. That is so sweet of you to say. Thank you. Well, welcome to the stream and welcome to my, my, my community. Hello, comfy Mel. What's up? It's even worse when- Oh, when friends change their name, I want to rip my head off. Mmm. No. When they change their name and their character. Like, full Fantasia. Throws me- Ow! Mmm. Still totally- Mr. Happy. Okay, this is Mr. Happy's alt that he made to come to my wedding, so I'll remove that. I'll remove that alt. I feel okay removing that. Okay, we got another friend request in. Oh, are the friend requests coming in because I'm removing people and I'm making space? I'm good, Comfy Mel. Luxury not here. Nissan was here. I don't know where he went, though. He has passed away. Can we talk out now? Fuck yeah. I'm 
was gonna ask this appears on Sarah Fantasia comments. No, no, no. Nissan, at least is consistent. Nissan is consistent, okay? That's the difference. Some of these bitches ain't. Who is Talia? Saskia. I feel like I should know some of these people. Balmong? Did I RP with you? <laughs> I'll never Fantasia Trist. I would actually cry. If Trist vanished, I think I would sob. Hello, Kelsey. Mm, action star. Oh my god, wait. Is Talia action star's new wife? No, I guess not. So much action. I miss Action Star Jones. I hope he's well. <laughs> Come here, RP holding hands. Uh, yes. Can you I'm good? Might be easier to remember people if you show your friends list by day added so all the OGs are way closer. I don't know. That's not how that works here. Because when I first started playing this game, I added a bunch of viewers too. So, and some of my friends came in, um, came into my friends just very late. Oh my god, wait, Action Star Jones is a raider now? Oh my god, L. I love how Action Star Jones has, like, just become a part of this community without even realizing it. He was just some random guy that we found thinking he was an NPC and then he moved. And then gave me lemonade that was spiked or whatever. Like, <laughs> iconic. But you know what though? I think that is smart though. I think I am gonna filter um, filter this. I think I'm gonna start giving. Let's see. Um, okay, so star. These are all my homies. These are all the homies. And these are all like my real life like homies, basically. No pepper font. You can. You don't need that. But I think what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna make all the homies, all the homies are gonna be hearts. And then I'm gonna make all the community members stars. Like all of y'all, you're gonna be stars. I think that sounds like a good idea, right? I don't know if I should even be doing that now. I feel like we, like I'm just like stalling Endwalker. But yo, the br I got one brain cell and that's what this is, what it's focused on right now. Actions uh, are Jones giving you spike lemonade sounds like a canon lore event. It is. If you think I'm not gonna incorporate that into like Pepper's lore somehow, go play Enrock or else. Well, what? Stalling way. Okay, wait, chat for real. If I was a Loperit, what would what would my name be? Crying way. Pooping way. Bye, guy brush. Take care. We're end crawling. We're end crawling. Stop. Oh, I definitely do not have the spoons to do all this, but I will if I must. That is someone from our community too, right? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Gabby! Gabby is absolutely from our community! Amanalane. No! Cannot remove Amanalane. Apple split. Alisair. Alisair. I think Alisair is from Jay's community. Okay, I definitely cannot do this now. <laughs> You know what? I think floor tank way would, would be me. Floor tanking way? Yo, the best mitigation in game is to just be dead. I used to play Dragoon though. I was a Dragoon main for a bit. All right. Wall the wall way. Okay. I still have to fucking remove people. 
Shut. Okay. Let me put my food away. I'm gonna remove some more people, and then we'll start Endwalker. Because I'm just like. Okay. Alistair. Okay, real quick. Alistair, are you someone in the community? Are you someone in the community? Are you here? Keen. I feel like Keen is from. Uh, I don't remember who Keen is. I think I think I do remember who Keen is, but they're not from our community. Who's Oh Oki Mox? Oki Mox is from here, right? Hi, Traded. Kareem. I don't know if Kareem's ever gonna play again. Who the hell is Kazolkara Sumeresh? Who are you? I know Chicken Wire is someone I met in a raid. Who the hell is Inner Monologue? <laughs> Brave Sky is someone I met in Gridania. Love them, but like I can remove them. I think. Yes, okay, David, yeah, they're from your FC. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I hope they do not take any offense to me removing them temporarily. Innocent man, oh my god, Devin. Should we remove Devin? I don't know if Devin's ever gonna play this game again. Chat, how do we get Devin to play FF14? How do we convince him? Tell him it has MILFs? Tell Devin MILFs are in Final Fantasy XIV. Show him Vana. You literally made me want to resub crew. Do it. Do it. All right. Do we have? Do I? Ha oh, how much do we have now? One ninety-eight. It's so crazy looking at this friend list and thinking, "Wow, I know all these people." You know what I mean? Cause like I don't, but like I do. Isn't it so wild? Okay. We're at 198. I think, I think that's good for now. Also, holy fuck, hello everybody! <laughs> we do have a cross world link shell actually. Oh yeah, I don't know how many of y'all are in that. We got the Coven of Mints. Oh, I didn't mean to invite you to a party. Oh my god. I didn't mean to invite you to a party! You're not even on my friends list! Are you? You are! I don't know! <laughs> ah! Um. 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 I got this. I got this. I'm inviting people. I don't know who Reyna is. I'm inviting people. I need somebody else to do this for me. Do we have um, a link shell for um? Oh, what? Do we have a link shell for like the streams? Cause I know we have this one that I'm in, but like I don't know if that defeats like the purpose. Oh, you're a traveler. Are you here for me? Is this Mesa person here for me? Why are we sweeping Joker's dead corpse? Because I blew him a kiss and he died. <laughs> Make a macro for your lung shells to announce your streams. Ooh. That's actually five head. Okay, fuck. Y'all gotta teach me how to how to be really cringe and, and monetize and shit with this goddamn game. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, bro. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But honestly, seeing so many people, like, I know there are probably a few people here who are not here for the stream, which is fine. Like, some are probably just random passerbyers. But seeing so many of you just roll up for me. Sweeping way. We are sweeping way. We are cleaning my, no, the remnants of my 
of my kin. Uh, okay, has, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I'm assuming we're all good. Okay, friends. All right, it's MSQ time, okay? Chat, we're doing it. We're doing it, it's happening. It's happening, it's MSQ time. We're doing it, it's Walker time. I'm scared. I don't know where to go. Let me see what number your link shell and put it global giz. My global giz. CJ, now is not the time! Um, this. This is my normal link shell with like nobody in it. And then, and then cross world link shell with 64 people in it or 60 people in it. It's almost full. This was created a year ago. Ravi, hello, it's nice to see you. Hello, Nissan, hi. Thank you for getting Ravi a sub. What did I fucking say about gifted subs? What did I say? <laughs> Trying to log in and it keeps making me put a one time as I remember setting up two FA is annoying. Oh shit, that is annoying. Um, are you on the free trial or have you paid? Because if you're on the free trial, just make a new account. Alright. Ready? I don't know. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Oh, we're going this way. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We go this way. Uh we're going this way. Um, I don't know. We're going this way. We're going this way. We're going this way. We're going this way. <laughs> we're going this way. <laughs> um. Oh, not this way. This way. This way. We're going here. I lied. We're going over here. We're going here. Ah! I have a mob. There's a mob. <laughs> we're going in here. We're going in here. We're going in here. Oh my god. I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's FF14 time. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, it's end walker time. We're doing it. We're end walking. We're walking. We're walking. End walk wiggle. End walk. End walk wiggle. I saw it. Rave, Ravi said. Is it Ravi or Ravi? Correct me. I saw you say wiggle in chat, and, and now I guess we're also wiggling in game. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like Raven, Ravy, oh, okay. Ravy, okay, perfect. Okay, I heard someone say Ravi, and so I started saying Ravi. All right, okay, all right, chat. Can we get some nodders in the chat? I gotta make sure we're all ready. I gotta make sure everybody's ready. I know the people here are ready. I know you're all, oh my God, is that Sonic? Oh my God, it's Sonic. Mathleen, hello, Sonic. Big fan, huge fan, actually. Notters? Okay. Okay. Ah. Yo, Sonic is huge. This is not what I anticipated. All right. Okay. Oh god. Okay. I'm 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 nervous. I don't know. I'm nervous. All right, here we go. Unto the heavens. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Okay. Ojika is ready to send you off with a smile. We got to go find that goddamn fucking bird, chat. We got to go find the bird. All right, let's go. I suppose this is where we part ways. For now, at least. Would that I had sage words of wisdom to share you depart. May have the teachings of Galif Baldessian will suffice. Surrender not to anger or hatred, he said. Look beyond them, and there find true strength. What one sees beyond is open to interpretation, I think. But for me, it'll be the things I cherish most in life. Things I believe are worth fighting for. So learn to consider as you venture unto the sea of stars. Oh my god, it's happening. It's happening. Where now? Where do I go? Where do, where do I go now? Where do I speak with Fortune at how my now? All right, we got to go. We got to go here. All right. All right, let's go. To Aporia. To Aporia. Forget and walking, we better be and running. Oh, we're going to be hauling ass, don't you worry. This music, why is this music still playing here? Why is this music still playing here? All them femoros? I oh, know. Dude, listen. I attract mothers. 
I attract mommies and cat boys, and I'm grateful. Ah, Mistress Peppa. I have been made aware of your coming. Please use the lift here. Oh my god, you've been made aware of my coming? That's so embarrassing. Who told you? I would grow Catboy Emmett Selk? Wait! Where are you? Wait! 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 Where is he? Wait! Wait! Wait, what do you mean? Catboy Emmett Selk? Where? 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 Oh, is it you? Is it is it is it you? Oh my God! This is what I've needed. This is what I've needed in my life. Not just Emmett, but Emmett as a cat boy. I've peaked. I've peaked. I mean, I'm in search of a new husband. You're not from here, but. <laughs> oh my god oh my god chat wait did i show y'all the emmett selt cosplayer from KupoCon? chat let me find you him y'all need to see this y'all need to see this And we were matching because I was wearing you can't really see it here, but I was wearing my red bow and he looked at me and he was like, huh, we kind of match. And I was like, yes, we do. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> like absolutely a phenomenal cosplayer. He looked amazing. We didn't really speak much. Like we literally just was like, oh, like I was like, hey, you look amazing. Can I take a photo with you? We spent like four minutes trying to take a photo. And we were like, all right, cool. And then never spoke again. Fantastic cosplay though. He looked amazing. I had to get a photo with him. I had to. But yeah, y'all were talking to him. Everybody else who went to the con were, talk were, were chit chatting with him. Apparently, he's really nice. I found him on Twitter too. So, followed him, but that's it. <laughs> Fantastic though. Fucking incredible. God, I love the cosplay community. I got a burp. I got a burp. <clears throat> All right, okay. All right, end walker time, end walker time, end walker time. Oh, don't snap like that. You're gonna get me all riled up. All right, onward! Yeah, my silly little umbrella. Is that a Nissan? Is that mommy? Mommy! <laughs> I could just see Nissan from the distance, mother? Oh my god, you know what? It, it's that fucking clip of Prince Charming looking up at the fairy godmother. Mummy? <laughs> That's literally me when I see Nissan. Hello, Gabby. Are y'all coming with me? Y'all coming with me under here? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we got a Zen! Zen is here too! Oh. Adorable died. Oh, wait, Sonic is dead? No! Sonic! No! Wait, Sonic, are you here for me? I'm gonna add you. I'm sorry you're dead, bro, but like, hey, the more the merrier, am I right? Yelly, hello! Submit a support ticket so I can get back into my account. Is it forcing you to add a code? Or is it just unlucky? Because, um, I, like, you don't need, like, what, how are you logging in? Like, what are you logging in with? The, um, like, Steam or the FF launcher? Hi, Fenris! At the con, Tiff was like, I gotta find the really good Emmett, and while I was leaving to get my car around back, it was like, it has to be them? That's so funny. Um. I remember when I finally reached the ball, every single person who knew me came up to me and they were like, Syrah, you have to find the Emmet. You need a photo with the Emmet. And holy fuck, you're right. I do not have my, my MS Queers on. Chad, how could you let me play Endwalker without my MS Queers? Okay. 
Okay, we gotta put the, the MS squares on. Hold on. Looking great in the orange. Thank you. KoopaCon was fun. It was a lot of fun. The highlight for me was just meeting the community, honestly. I thought we were MS queers. Together, we are the, the MS queers. Wait. Where's Sonic? Oh, there's Sonic. Okay. Asta! Oh my god! I haven't seen you in so long. Asta, how are you? Oh, it's making you sign in with a code. Is there anybody here in chat who can potentially help Richie with um, getting her into FF14? She's kind of locked out of her account right now. And that's really lame. How did you like that pencil sketch of Pepper, by the way? What do you mean? I told you how I liked it. You literally gave it to me and I cried. It's on my fridge. It was good. <laughs> The 2FA code? Yes. Oh, Dennis wants chat to know. Oh, true. Dennis is just bragging. Rightfully so. Yeah, code because of the lines there was a separate install for the free trial. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I mean, I have it enabled, um, so I do have to use it every time I log in, which is honestly very annoying. But I'm so glad there are people in chat who can help Richie. Oh my goodness, thank God. Babe, you're in good hands. Here, chat, I'll show y'all. Dentist um, commissioned an artist at KupoCon to draw pepper. I gotta trim my bangs. My bangs are like way too long right now, holy shit. One of the one of the many drink tokens that Ben Starr gave me, and then this little sketch of Pepper. She doesn't have her bow on. She's got the the flowers in her hair. So this is like Pepper from like I think like beginning of 2022 or end of 2021 or something like that. It's so cute. The Pebussy. The Pebussy. Fucking cute. Show the print I got you. Oh my god, Kelsey. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay. Because if that's the case, then I know. Then I know Dentist is gonna open his mouth. So Kelsey got me this print. The boys, my heavens word boys. And then Dentist got me this print. Which is so fucking funny. Like, this was sold at KupoCon. Let's take ibuprofen together. Very funny. Very fucking funny. Yeah, y'all got me a lot of gifts. I can't show off all of them because I don't want to. To be completely fair and honest, everything is all around my home right now. I don't want to show everything. So, too bad. But I am grateful and everything that I got is fucking cute. I just like, I am not running around right now to show everything. Oh, this is right here beside me though. I still have to turn this into a magnet so I can put it on my fridge. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Y'all are stalling. You're stalling FF14. Y'all yell at me. Y'all yell at me for stalling MSQ. And yet, I got started like a quarter of carpaccio. Is it carpaccio? Is that how you pronounce it? That's true though, Nissan. We ate fucking good that night. We ate fucking good. Okay. <laughs> I gave Sarah 40. Okay. This one I will share. This one I will share. I will share this. CJ's um, roommate baked me 45 cookies. 
This is the final thing that I'm sharing because this is actually hilarious and I'm embarrassed to show you guys inside one of the trays because I've just been nibbling each and every one to get the cookie, like to get the chocolate chips. And so it looks like a rabbit invaded. But. There is still another full tray. of cookies just in my kitchen and they're fucking delicious but i only take one bite at a time like look at look at this look at this cookie that i left We made a mistake by accident at the bar. Oh my god, Tiff. Is this the part where I tell chat everything that happened? Thank you for gifting Tiff a sub. I appreciate it. So, Tiff and I, I mean, we all know Tiffany Lockhart. She's sexy. Sexy as fuck. I did her makeup and, oh my god. Just being able to touch her face and be so close well let me tell you that wasn't the end of that <laughs> at the bar tiff and i were singing we're just hanging and then we were making and we got closer and closer and closer and then we accidentally kissed <laughs> But it was like so small. It was like a. Her and I were like, ha! Oh. <laughs> it was so funny. It, hey, hey, look. <laughs> Listen. Listen. The girls be going crazy. Hey, Sarah and everyone. A double day at the event team with Reset. Hello. It was so funny. It was so fucking funny. You know why? It was like. It was one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so it was funny because like it was one of those moments where like I hardly felt it. And I could tell that she didn't really either. But then literally a second later, we both registered it. We were like, wait, did that just happen? <laughs> it's so funny. Honestly though, this weekend was amazing. For what it's worth. Hi, I just got home. Hello, hi, I just got home. I mean, I just got home. I fucked up my own dad joke. Oh my God. Thank you for this reset. Um, as a lapaz, thank you for this reset as well. So, you know, like I don't mean to stall the stream any longer, but I'm gonna be very emotional for like one moment. I've never really, and I, actually Tiff and I were bonding over this. I've never really had girly girlfriends. I've never really had girlfriends. Um, uh, I was bonding over this with, actually I was bonding over this with a lot of the girls, um, but that's not something that like was ever really a part of my life. I never had like slumber parties. I never had like girls night. Like that wasn't really a thing for me. And this entire weekend, it felt like a long 
slumber party with the girls. Going shopping together, going out for drinks, like snuggling, doing each other's makeup. You know, like this whole weekend, I was literally just with the girls. I was just with the girls. Like obviously the community was there, right? Like the guys were there, but I only hung out with them in small doses. The rest of the weekend was with like Tiffany and Ashley and Kelsey and CJ. And it made me so, it made me realize how much I missed out on and how grateful I am to now have that in my life. I love my guy friends, don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's simply just not the same. I put the headband on wrong? The headband on wrong? Girl, what are you talking about? I'm so long for that experience. Richie, come to Canada. I got you. We can't keep being the same style. This is my first thing I felt like I had some boys. Oh. Well, I love that for you too. I'm so glad that you were able to have such a good weekend despite us being little anxiety demons. Oh my God, for the makeup. Oh my God. So, so I gave Tiff, so Tiff wanted me to do her makeup. So I did her makeup because why wouldn't I get to touch Tiffany? Oh my God. And so she literally, she, she puts it on her face. Okay. And like the way you, you put it on like a headband, it's a headband, right? So it goes like from here to here. This girl put it like this. And so it's sitting on her face like this. Like it's a headband, not a helmet. I don't know. It was so funny. It was so funny. She did her best, and for that, I I applaud her. I mean, I actually I don't even think I can call that her best. She did something. She was cooking something. I don't know what it was. It was a little bit burnt, but you know, <laughs> something was going on there. <laughs> It was so fucking funny. <laughs> it was so funny. But it's like, it's those moments that I, I can't get anywhere else. You know, it's those moments that I, I, I could never get anywhere else. And man, I would fucking do anything for my girls. I would literally do anything for my girls. I think like the, the bigger highlight is the fact that it was so many of them meeting each other for the first time. And we all got along. You know how satisfying that is? When all the homies get along. That's good shit. Nixie, we're bringing you next time, okay? Visit NYC to remember. I will! I will! But, now that all the fawning has come to a, to an end, and the cat ears are on, it's time to return to the MSQ. Okay, I, I still, I still, where did everybody go? Oh, are you all there? <laughs> I, I'm still like him and the I'm, 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 I'm scared. I'm scared. So now we're going to go find Medion, right? Medion this dick. Hello. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, who this? Who this? Do I have space? No, I'm so sorry. Who do I get rid of? Who's dying? Who do I get rid of? <laughs> okay. There we go. Amazing. Amazing. Wait, there's somebody else here. Who are you? Oh my God. It's, it's Meaty Mom. It's Meaty Mom. We got Meaty Mom in the chat. Or in the, in the, in the game. <laughs> oh my God. The Vlad fashion show. Thank you, Grits. Mommy, look at mommy. She's she's not uh -huh. Dude, I really do attract all the femros. I really do. Wait, what happened? What does it matter? Don't derail the stream of bullshit. Wait, what did they say? Is streamer leftist insoles are not happy with Sarah on Twitter? Oh, what happened? What happened? Why are people mad at me? Is it because I have fat tits? What are they being salty about? What did I do now? What did I do? What do you mean? What did I do? I want to know. Yeah, 
what literally when are they not mad at me is andrew tate or tristan tate flaming me again what is happening is it because i'm so sexy i don't see anything i just got baited i'm on twitter there's nothing here what's wrong I just see a lot of people meowing at me. <laughs> There's nothing here. I got hardcore baited. It's literally that. My hobby is to defend Hassan Piker usually. I mean, that's kind of sad. I'm sorry, bro. That's kind of sad. Don't you play video games? Or like masturbate? Or do literally anything else? <laughs> okay, wait. I need to remove somebody. <laughs> Who do I remove? Who's Ayame? Oh, what is Robin giving me? Robin, I have stuff for you too. I have some weed. You giving me a flower? Do you want do you want do you want some some breast? Do you want some breast? 14 flowers? I'm getting a bouquet! Oh. That was you, CJ? Bye. Bye, bitch. Woo! Alright. Slay. No, not invite a party! I'm so sorry, I'm so bad at this. I don't know. No, my friends are just so Did I not I didn't even actually I didn't even actually remove CJ because you interrupted me by giving me some flowers! Fuck! Who's Kiki Pistachio? Who are you people? Who are these people? Who? I don't know! Um... Fuck it! Ah! Oh, I did it! I did it! Amazing! Do I have every single one of you added? Oh my god, I was about to say, who the fuck are these NPCs? Oh, nice! Slay! Amazing! I did it! I did it! Even a man Elaine is here, my sweet boy! Okay. Fuck. Who do I have to speak to? Oh my god. Oh my god, M mommy's here! Oh my god! Mommy and daddy! You're quite fortunate the Lopper it's hyper. <clears throat> Hyperhopper was based on principles similar to those of Etherology. Integrating it with the Ark's existing systems might well have been impossible otherwise. We may have Charlene's wealth of knowledge at our disposal, but theirs is technology far beyond anything we have ever studied. You're familiar with teleportation magics, yes? The momentary conversion of the body into ether that it may the momentary conversion of the body into ether that it may travel via the live stream from one physical point to another. The hyperhopper enables transport through a similar method, but not one involving the live stream. Rather, it utilizes highly condensed ether to create an ethereal current of its own. This current is exponent oh my god. I don't know what she's saying, but it's really sexy. This current is exponentially faster and more powerful than the naturally occurring ones to which we are accustomed. So much so, in fact, that ethereal conversion of the physical form is not a prerequisite for tra traversal. If you are concerned about side effects such as ethereal sickness, you needn't be. You should emerge at your destination hail and whole. In theory, uh, in theory, at the very least, I can assure you it is safer than the experimental ether I use to reach Razahan. Slay, mommy. Oh, she's so hot. She just has big words and Punani just starts quivering. Moonbrita has been on my mind more often of late. How different her life might have been if not for our research into teleportation magics. Perhaps she would never have gained an interest in ethological studies. To abandon our work out of misplaced guilt for who she could have been would be, dis be a disservice to the memory of who she was. Nay, it was because of that. Because of her that we found the result to carry on. And now we stand at the edge of a new frontier, the ship ready to bear you onto the distant stars and beyond. This arc is much more, is as much her accomplishment as it is ours. I regret nothing. Oh. No, my heart. My heart. Oh, you're so close. That's Aaronville. That's Aaron Vilhan. Manalane is right here, but speaking of, let's speak to him. It's troubling enough that. <laughs> so close, bestie. It's troubling enough that that brute 
Sicard left without warning, leaving me to carry all these those cumbersome containers. But that he failed to be present to send you off is absurd. Could possibly be more deserving of his attention at a time like this. True! The fuck is he doing? Alright, let me speak to my wife and then and then we'll be off. Or should I speak to everybody? So this is the ship that will bear us onto Ultima Thule. Ultima Thule. Oh yeah, that's where we're going. What a fucking name. Ultima. Why is everything Ultima this, Ultima that, Ultima this, that, hibbit a bat? I wasn't expecting quite so many people to be seeing us off. Neither did I! We've got a whole fucking army! This is the pinnacle of ethrochemistry, a synthesis of modern innovation and the ancient wisdom of Alec. The Ark's engine appears to be capable of processing condensed ether in quantities I never thought possible. Possible? Possible? For so many to see us off like this seems wholly unnecessary. Still, I'll not begrudge them for wishing us well. They said work on the Ark is finished, but you certainly wouldn't know by looking at it. Let us hear what Father has to say. Right. That even Wolfson and Blavida, 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 Blavida? Should be in attendance is most unexpected, but I'm nonetheless heartened by their presence. Oh. I'll send word to the Alliance leaders the very moment the ship takes off. Obviously, they couldn't be here, but I'm sure they'll be cheering you, cheering for you every step of the way. Actually, I think her voice is more up here, right? It's kind of like Lisa's, but like a little bit more pe uh, pitchy. I think. I think. <gasps> Emmy! Hello, Emmy! Oh my god, do you want to make out? Emmy, how you doing? Quite the turnout, wouldn't you say? Then again, who wouldn't want to be present for a once-in-a-lifetime event? Chat, am I gonna die? Is this it? Am I not coming back after this? Y'all got me scared. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm worried about this shit. Alright, Living Way, what's up? The Ark is missing one last but very crucial component before we are ready to take off. It should be arriving shortly. Do you mean me? Am I the component? Ooh. One bad gust of breeze, and the pussy is. Whoosh. Good. As you will have heard, the ark is ready. All that remains is to board and be on your way. Oh, I've seen my face. Daddy. But we did it. We finished the ship. It's safe, fit for purpose, and looks good to boot. Aye, it's a garland through and through. I really don't know what we'd do without you. Thank you for everything. Well, the work was hard, but we've learned a lot from it. After all, it's not every day you get tasked with building a star-faring vessel. In case you're wondering about payment, the ongoing existence of the world ought to do. But feel free to throw in a colorful recounting of your journey on your return. Mm. <laughs> so, have you thought of a name? Um, the Papussy Mobile. A name? Wasn't everyone just calling it Father's teeny tiny toy boat? <laughs> Well, seeing as its purpose has changed, I thought a more eloquent name was in order. I suggested as much to Fortuno, who seemed quite amenable to the idea. What are we naming it? As you know, this vessel is the culmination of heretofore unprecedented collaboration. And though said collaboration is owed to the Scions, there is another. Whose noble deeds made our world. Yo, it's the Hydalintanic. From a fragment of Dalamud, 
We obtained not only advanced materials such as refined adamantite, but the knowledge to traverse the stars. And this fragment would not have found its way to us had the Archon Luiswa not fought <gasps> to protect this world. Oh my god, and the Louis so Swatanic laid down his life. Now that the vessel stands complete, I cannot help but wonder if it was more than mere happenstance. If it was my father's intention to guide us here. It's kind of beautiful. In the hopes that his guidance will see you all safely home. I name the vessel after that self-same fragment of Dalamud he delivered unto us. The Starship Ragnarok. Oh, that's lit. That's actually lit. Oh my god, it's just like Thor! Ah, whoa! Marvel! I love that. Sorry actually. for the wait. I got oh, you fuck ass. ass. And not a one less. And Manalane, say sorry. Oh my god, the tribes! The beastmen! I hate that they're called beastmen. I hate it, really. What are you all doing here? Seeing me off. Oh, I invited them. The representatives of those tribes with religious inclinations. Ah. I like that. Good you save. Did a fine job of good, the good, 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 good. We'll I'm glad they changed it. Vessel. Yeah, the tribes. I'm Even glad they fucking size, changed however, it. With religious incon in whatever the fuck she said. Need to it into tiny Thank God. But a brilliant idea came to me. We convert the crystal's energy into forms that can transport themselves. Hold on. We convert the crystal's energy into forms that can transport themselves. Is that better? I think that was better. Because normally I do it like this, but really it's over here, I think. But a brilliant idea came to me. We convert the crystal's energy into forms that can transport themselves. Okay, we're getting there. I'm nailing it. Thou wouldst employ summoning, or should I say, its precursor, creation magics. Care to explain for our benefit? As you may have witnessed at Bestways Borough, the Lopperids are capable of creation magics, which they use to shape the moon's environment. Yet simple though they make it seem, tis a highly advanced and exacting art. To perform it correctly requireth that the wielder holdeth the object in his mind's eye in clearest detail. Hence the ancient meticulous management of concepts. Drawing upon this art, the Asians conceived of summoning as we know it. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not miss no calling. It is not too late to get into VOA. That's really rude. Do not say that. Just because I'm not like 16 fucking years old doesn't mean I've missed my shot at doing any of that fancy schmancy stuff. I do not like it when people say like backhanded shit like, oh man, you could have done blah, blah, blah. It's not too late. It's literally not too late. Do you know how many successful actors are out there that didn't get their big shot until they were like in their fucking 40s or 50s? Either because they never wanted to pursue it, or they took a break, or it just never happened. Apparently our lives end in our early 20s. Apparently so. Guess I'll go die then. 
a derivative that replaceth the complexity of concepts with the simplicity of zealotry to make manifest a creation. I don't even fucking remember what's happening here. <laughs> it's a lot for, what are they, what are they fucking, what are they, wait, I why see. do we need creation magics? By combining the Loperit's magics and the tribe's faith, uh... we convert the mother crystal into primals of purer form and greater obedience. Thank you, Ishtola. I love it when you Summoning answer me. Summoning as it was intended, one might say. Indeed! Indeed! While Hydaelyn gave us the ability to use creation magics, she forbade us from using it to make anything possessed of a soul, or similar. She didn't say anything about fulfilling the desires of others, though. So, borrowing our friend's faith, we'll create deities using the Mother Crystal's power and send them to the Revnarok! That's kind of crazy. The only one here concerned about the risk of being turned into a tempered mini. Oh, right. oh, not I the was tempered. From what I read in Charlie and Tones, it appears the Asians incorporated an additional nasty element into their summoning method. The fervent desire to assimilate others into one's belief. Beings thus created are instilled with the self-same desire and use their powers to enthrall people, starting with the summoner. In contrast, our creation magics, the original and the best, except no substitutes, don't incorporate any of that rubbish, so there's no risk of tempering. I mean, if the being was on the scale of Zodiac, you might feel a little tug, but I think we'll be safe enough. A tug, eh? Truth be told, I do not understand the intricacies of this plan. But none of us would ever turn our backs on you. When the avatars of our faith ran amok, you intervened without decrying we who birthed them. Where others vilified and suppressed us, you offered understanding and friendship. Gratitude. <laughs> we will share with you the true expressions of our gods. Not malevolent deities, but benevolent saviors. This is so high. All right, you lot, we're heading to the ethereal sea. Stay in sight, else you're liable to get lost. All right, all right, babes. <laughs> Lead the way. In anticipation of the day man might journey to the stars, we developed these. I got a book. A cell Portable phone? teleportation devices. Oh. One for each of you designed to work in tandem. I thought they were making Pepper and Press I that kid. on one, and in a matter of moments, all eight will activate and send their owners back to the Ragnarok. Oh, nice. There is no telling what hazards you may encounter. We love If safety. you find yourself separated or lost, please do not hesitate to use them. Be safe, all of you, and come back. You as well. I pray you take care. Looks like everything is in order. So I'll go ahead and board. A few of my fellows will remain to assist with the summonings, but rest assured, the vessel won't want for competent crewing. If you are ready, then you should board as well. Go and Godspeed. It's happening. We're going to go find that fucking bird. Oh, my God. Yo, it's about to be Star Trek up in this bitch. OK, where do I where where what do I do? What do I do? Where do I where do oh, I do. 
A Aglyph. Aglyph. If you come this way, I'll reduct you to the bridge. Upon boarding the Ragnarok, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Chat, are we ready to board the Ragnarok? Are we ready to board the Ragnarok? Yo, my tits fucking boomboled with that. Holy shit. Uh, I'm... I'm paranoid. I'm scared. But I'm ready. Okay. It's happening. It's happening. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> the anxiety is building, my cheeks are. I may be anxious, but it's never a wrong time to jam out to this fucking music. My fucking chair. I'm so glad I can move it. <laughs> no, sleeping way! We don't, we can't have sleeping way manning the ship! To the bridge, everyone! I hope you have everything, because I can't be bothered turning back. Huh. Right then, make yourselves comfortable. We're setting off in just a moment. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm sitting. I'm sat. Ah, this is so cool. This is so cool. It's incredible. Oh, I love seeing Grahatia's tail just wiggling. This is Portiano. Can you hear me? Hi, Daddy. The preparations for the summonings are complete. In accordance with the 14th phase of the plan, we have moved the Ragnarok to the launch site. 14. The gates are open. Oh, look at the pussy. You may depart when ready. Look how cute she is. She just... So, are we ready? As ready as we'll ever be. I was literally Let's just going to say I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Oh my god, Alize. <laughs> Come I was on. literally just about to say that. That's got more fire in its belly. Try it again. With feeling. With feeling. <laughs> Is she the command to launch? Have have Alfino do the honors. Come on, Alfino. <laughs> No need to be coy, brother. Do it. And do it well. I see now they're stalling. Huh. If you all insist. <clears throat> Come on, sonny boy. Onward unto the distant stars and beyond. That's my boy! Ragnarok, engage! That's my boy! <laughs> <laughs> Engage! Let's go! Engage! Engage! Chat, we're engaging? Oh my god. It's so much bigger than I anticipated. Oh, 
the cloud graphics look amazing. <laughs> Oh, it's got me anxious just looking at this. Pew! No. Pew! <gasps> Pew! That... Is that supposed to happen? Are we pewing? Oh! Oh! They're doing their summoning! Oh! Oh! Hey, yo! Whitewash Lakshmi! That is so sick. Trace, I just saw your husband. <laughs> yes! Good King Mughal Mark! Mother. Ah! That I must carry landwalkers into the sky. I cannot imagine a greater indignity. I love her. <laughs> Do not sulk so. For thy mighty winds exist not only to buffet and batter. Nay, oh they may serve also to thrust forth with vigor. Such is thy glory, and thus it is an occasion to rejoice. So come, let us revel! <laughs> Boobs are so. Oh my God! Look at those things. I will render unto them a storm that they may pierce the firmament and fly free. God, she's so hot. She's so hot. God, this is so cool. Now I just miss Shiva. <laughs> Space of sea. We traverse. Look at their little hands. They go beep beep pop pop beep beep pop beep. They're in one beep. piece? Good. Sleeping way? Report? <laughs> All's well. Hey, look, Fantastic he's away. Fantastic, even. Thanks to the power of those primals, the engines are roaring and we're mm, ripping along. Some, something is going to go wrong here, though. Too good. It's too good. All values are also within projected ranges. Time All to values. It's carrot. <laughs> seven at a pinch. <laughs> All right. Let's go over some points of caution. Okay. Our destination, as you know, is Ultima Thule. Lest you wonder, the place is not a star so much as a patch of emptiness. Okay. How do I walk? That's the extent of what our equipment could determine, anyway. Mm, I don't like the sound of that. From what we know of Meteon, she's likely used Dynamis to obfuscate her location. So, in conclusion, we'll only know what's there when mm. we get there. That's terrifying, actually. The crew and I will see to it the ship's ready to take off at a moment's notice. We'll support the search as best we can, but it'll be your paws on the ground, <laughs> assuming there is any. Yeah, that's what's worrying me. There's got to be but some sort of floor for us. I'm sure. 
Heidelin believes in you, so you ought to believe in yourselves. I Just like don't that. do anything I wouldn't. Like waiting too long to use those portable teleporters of yours. Personally, at the slightest sign of trouble, I'd mash the button to bits. And you should as well. I have a bad feeling I'm not going to do that at all. <laughs> Understood. We promise to be careful. You're talking to a wall-to-wall -wall tank over here, okay? I suggest you brace yourselves. We're about to arrive and the vessel will shake a good bit. Okay. Oh, fuck. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Hmm. What is this? Something is... Look, interfering with the equipment. Or someone! Is, is, is Greetings. Greetings. Pepper's face is like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> what a big head. Greetings. Can you hear me? Are those cubes supposed to be like interferences with the like the primals? It's her, the bringer of despair. Pepper would not say that. Meteon. So this is Meteon. Yeah, she's just a tiny little thing. Oh. Have you met one of my sisters? Oh, fuck. I don't remember meeting you myself. But I do know that you're from Atheris. Why have you come? All you had to do was wait. I would have delivered to you your ends. We didn't ask for that. I don't understand. All life is destined to end. Why choose to prolong your suffering? Effort, ambition, love. They amount to naught. Happiness, should you find it, is inevitably lost. Stolen away by events beyond your control. Damn. There is no logic nor meaning in it. Damn. You think there is. Convince yourselves. But it's all a cruel accident. Come now. I speak the truth. A truth you would recognize if you looked up at the night sky. Unbroken emptiness. Cold, dark, and silent. <laughs> Your world, like every other, is but a blemish upon its perfect fabric. Life is an anomaly. It is unnatural and cannot continue. The sooner you accept this, the easier it will be. No. Just to be clear, we're not here to argue with you. Tell him. We know Tell that him, life Mama. is fleeting, and that in the short time we have it, we're not assured happiness. Indeed. I've seen far more sorrow in the eyes of many I've met. I myself have plenty of regrets. And one day they'll die with me. Gone to dust with my good deeds and unfulfilled dreams. But we accept this. That our existence may seem pointless. That sorrow, rage and despair will always dog our heels. And we press on regardless. That is why Heidlin guided us here. 
in her boundless love for mankind. She has prepared us for this trial, and in her name, we have come for you. Yes, I sense it. A burning passion like unto fury. I know it well. For the same passion once burned in many a star before yours. Ugh. It's so grim. Suffocated. Oh. I know. And oh. extinguished now. We're gonna fall. Oh! I, I can't breathe. No. You approach the bounds of my ultimatum, where emotions dictate reality, where resignation and acceptance unite to embrace the end. Where those who yet valiantly cling to life can thrive. Thank Crossy, you went. Oh. We're good. We ain't dead. By the fury. But where are we now? Did we Thancred? make it? Wait. Wait. <gasps> where is Thancred? Meteon is gone as well. Mayhap he awakened first and gave chase. Oh, God. Uh, everyone. It oh, we made it. We at our destination. This, this is Ultima Who. Not that we knew what to expect, but I wasn't expecting. This. Can I see? From atmospheric composition to ambient temperatures, all readings are within permissible range. This place is capable of supporting life. Is it like the perfect Earth? Or Aetherus? What are we looking at? If that's the case, then Thancred may well have gone on ahead. Let's go and have a look. Meanwhile, I want the rest of you to perform a full inspection of the ship as well as a biological scan. A biological scan, Slay? Look at you and your tech. Oh my god, can I see? Oh my god, did they like, did they manage to create like the perfect world? So Which... it was that the brave wayfarers arrived at last at dream's end. In following their path walked and history written, I am made keenly aware of one truth. Though the curtains may fall again and again, so long as others take the stage, ever shall there be more tales to tell. So, let them bring it to a close, I say. Let the curtains fall upon this. The final chapter in the tale of the star. Is this... It's a dead, a dead star. star. As I live and breathe, I live and breathe. The environment itself shouldn't kill us. Well then, let us search for Thancred while exploring the area. The ship we leave in your care. This is so cool.
What's up, cat boy? Is that Larry? Larry, is that you? Thank you for the head pass. This is so... That's so fucking cool. Hold on, let me see what alerts I've missed real quick. I know I missed some. May, thank you for the 11 month resub. Oh my goodness, hello May, how are you? Kenzel, thank you for the 20, for two years. Thank you for the 24 month resub. Not so lucky, Lucy, with the prime sub. Warm up, thank you for the 16 month prime resub. Oh my God, this is so cool. Thank you everybody for the warm welcomes. I appreciate it. Oh my God. This is kind of fucked up. Holy shit. I can't guarantee it will be of help in these strange surrounds, but I've ready the provisions now in case of emergency. Of course, if you encounter any real danger here, I expect you to return to the Ragnarok at once. Holy shit. Alright, let's speak with Alfie now. Uh, strange new world. Look at how that is typed. Try as you might, Alfino can find no sign of Thancred. Fuck. We're fortunate this place can support life, albeit barely. I suspect given the torpid, sail quality of the air. But never mind that. We must find Thancred. Let's begin our search from the prow of the ship. Seems as good a direction as any. So, what happens if I find enemies? Try not to stray too far, unless we lose sight of one another. Am I gonna be okay? Am I gonna be fine? Am I going this way? I'm going this way. I guess I'm going this way. This is so cool. Oh. Look, I can stand in the spotlight from the ship. This is so cool. What are those though? What are... I don't know what I'm looking at. Like, is it just gas? Oh, that's an enemy lesser stellar dragon. Cool. You wish people wouldn't gather here? Why? I already saw it in the cutscene. And I think it's cute that like community members want to be here to welcome me. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Yeah, let me see if I can just grab a little bit of XP. <gasps> Look, someone is farming. I discovered a new location. Okay, I only got 6,000 XP. We're not gonna bother with this. Oh, look at the dragons. Oh, oh, this is so cool. Oh, there's so many. Oh, that's a dead one. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and a dead... What is in that goop? There's something in the goop. Oh, there's Orion Shay. Oh, who's touching me? Someone's healing me. Ruins. Perhaps we can find something to help us understand the nature of this place. A relic, an inscription, anything. Maybe he'll know something. Does it remind me of anything from Alec or whatever? Look here. This part is relatively intact. The intricate design on the top would suggest it's man-made. Though its builders were surely not men as we conceived them. Who said that? I've perhaps seen this pattern before. Should I, should I recognize it? I, well, I, I don't. So maybe it'll come as a big surprise. The metallic pillar has been partially melted, likely sometime in the distant past. The damage does not appear to have been inflicted deliberately. Rather, it calls to mind the discriminate destruction often wrought in the heat of battle. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go this way. 
<laughs> Not the smiles. I am wondering if this is just another variation of Earth, the theorists, that they tried making and it like failed. Earth after Earth after Earth. It is kind of giving like as this law energy. Yo, what's over there? Yo. Oh, Santa's back. What's up, Santa? Wait, and there are platforms up there. Oh, Santa, what do you have for me? <gasps> Sadu, wind up Sadu and Calamari. Yo, don't mind if I do. Here, take some Schweed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I thought the sill might have pulled a better view of our surroundings. A poor decision in hindsight. Besides the light from the ship, all is shrouded in darkness. If Thancred is here, I'd never know it. From what I can tell, we are near the edge of an island. If you can call it that. Surrounded by floating debris. Now let's go speak with Mr. Alfie now. Mm. This is so cool, chat. This is so cool. I love that the backdrop, though, is just like a static galaxy thing with a little bit of twinkles here and there. <laughs> just and layers of smoke on top. <laughs> Wait, let me speak with Alize. Yo, Sif! I see no one else in the... I see no one else in this barren waste. Do you? Then why do I feel like we're not alone? There's another presence with us. Something dark and mournful. Hermes? Oh my god, do you think Hermes tried recreating... Do you think Her Hermes tried recreating Elpis? But like, failed? And that's where Medion hides? Yeah, I must have overheated. That was so funny. Do you think, okay, so do you think, and obviously do not answer this, I don't want any hot chocolate, but do y'all think that, like, I'm, 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 I'm wondering if like, he tried creating like another, like Elpis or something and like it failed miserably, like, and he tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. They kept trying or whatever the fuck. And maybe they found a world or maybe they found a world that was like so close, so close to like perfection or whatever. And, and now they just hide there because even that failed. I wonder. These remains have long since turned to ash, and yet they retain their form. And yet they retain their form. Alright, let's speak with Alfie now. Quite scene. Were you able to find anything? Uh -uh. As I feared, still no trace of Thancred. There's nothing but emptiness as far as the eye can see, which, unfortunately, isn't very far. Though I can't help but suspect that someone or something is here. There are times when I sense it drawing close and then a chill washes over me, leaving me exhausted. Leaving me fe with feelings of death and anguish. That's Menion! That little shit! <laughs> oh, do you think it's these? I felt it too when I was near that thing. 
I think I might see something over there. I'm gonna go with the second one. Pepper's smart. Oh. Does she not see it? Oh, she does. Oh. Wait. What are you talking about? There's nothing there. What? They don't see the enemies? Or does she not? Before we jump to any conclusions, perhaps we should search elsewhere. Oh, perhaps we should search elsewhere. There we go. Agreed. We found only more questions when we were in desperate need. When we are in desperate need of answers. There's a fair stretch of terrain from the ship's port side we've yet to explore. Let us try searching there then. This is getting spooky. Does he see it too? Pepper. I will before we join the others. All right, where is he? Oh, it's a wild gin. It's a wild master matoy gin. What's up, gin? What's up? Oh my god, so I'm the only one that can see. Wait, this one's frozen. God, that's fucking cool. That's fucking dope. I want that. I want it, I want it, I want it. Okay, where are we going? This way, right? Oh yeah, on the opposite side of where the ship is. Okay. This is dope, chat. This is really fucking cool. I am... I am scared though. I don't, for once chat, I really don't know what to even predict. I mean, I told you my prediction. I think, I think they tried recreating Elpis or fo they found the closest thing to it and it didn't work out. And now Hermes and Medion are just miserable here or Medion is just miserable here. I, I don't know. I don't know. You see them too, don't you? The dragons. Oh, yes! As I thought. The presence is tenuous at best, but there's no mistaking it. Oh! No doubt you bond with Midgar somewhere. So, so, mid, mid, Midgar. Midgar. Mid, Midgar. I forgot how to pronounce this fucking character. Midgar. 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 And mine with Nidhogg is what allow us, allows us to perceive them. Could these appar apparitions be related to the dragons that now live on the theorists? Well, better to leave such... Con... Gabby? <laughs> better to leave such conjecture to the others. In any case, we must be careful. We may soon find dragons. They can see as well. Hmm. Death and anguish. What happened to them, I wonder? And what else are we gonna see? Oh, there's an etherite over there. Okay, and why is there an etherite here? Like, why am I able to attune here? You know what I mean? Okay, but it's probably not like an etherite etherite. It's, okay, so it's whatever this is. But like, why? Why is there an ether crystal thing here, you know? Oh, look at these dragons. Oh, mama. Yowzers. Quote scene, quote scene vibes. Wow. This is so cool. Oi, seep. Take a nap. Dragons. Here. They can see these ones. But why these ones? What you see is a memory of a world that once was. A world suffering a slow death. Oh my god, is Ultima Thule literally our world? Of oblivion. Do you think they created our world to be like, look, this could be you, now just die. <laughs> 
I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, their world is dead? I don't know. It is. Oh, never mind. Not a single life remains upon that husk floating in the vast Oh, the thing above us? The, the already dead star? These creatures are shadow and shade. Mm. Perpetuated only to suffuse Dynamis with their unending lamentations. Well, that's kind of sad, actually. <laughs> Our friend Thancred. Where is he? A strange question. He is at your side, is he not? Huh? Oh, yes. He is here and there and everywhere within this space. He would tell you himself if he had form to form words. Thank Crossy. Huh. Such loathing and uncertainty. You don't know why you still exist. In like manner to the oblivion I send. I tried to drown out your ether with dynamis. Beginning with this Thancred, who came at me despite being unable to breathe. That's why he's dead. Such a simple thing, unmaking men. In the blinking of an eye, he was gone. Didn't even have the chance to be transformed. Imagine if it were that easy. Yet somehow, he managed to leave a slither of himself behind. What you call. The heart? Or perhaps the soul? In his final moment, he cried out from it. A single word. Survive. <gasps> that wish proved stronger than the despair that ruled here. It overpowered it, causing this space to be remade into a place you can perceive and where life can endure. That you draw breath is proof that his soul lives on. For how long, however, remains to be seen. Well then, we should hurry and tend to business. You it's thought that would work. You will never reach the true me. True I told you. you, emotions dictate reality in this space. Such changes as you might work will not alter in its nature. You may see, but you cannot touch. Walk, but not advance. <laughs> Meteon holds too much sway here. How do we contend with a foe who can unmake us on a whim? Why are you asking me? I'm stupid. I don't know. I do not know. But Tancred gave his life that we might come this far. We must press on. He's not dead. Agreed. We cannot turn tail here. Not without something to show for our comrade's sacrifice. He's not dead. No. No! Because it would be more fucking dramatic than that! really be gone, can he? Meteon herself said his soul possess, that he's the reason we're still breathing. If so, then maybe, maybe, yeah, he's not, he's not dead. I 
He's, he's not dead. He's not. There's no way. There's li No. There's no way Thancred's dead. There's no way Thancred just died. It's hard to believe Thancred was able to overcome Lutine's will. But here we are. But the price for his victory had not been so high. I don't like this. My aim was true. I had her. How much feet an enemy we can't attack? Okay, Estinian truly is himbo. It's poke, think later, but... His will was strong enough to reshape Ultima Thule that we might survive. And I might see again. Oh no. <sighs> this sacrifice is not be based. He's not dead. I understand now why the little prince was surprised to find that this love could save life. I thought Dan could say he's not dead. He's not. <laughs> On burdened wings, despite me, Tion's words are like that. Except his comrade is gone, he's not gone! Soul without body, a form of being with which we are not wholly unfamiliar. Indeed, for we exist in a similar state when residing in the first. The circumstances are rather more dire than that, it is true, but I choose to believe he is not forever lost to us. I need to get another crystal and fill him with it and put it up my butt. He'll live on in my butt. Okay. Regardless, in sacrifice, he hath afforded us the chance to prevail. Let us not squander it. And ascertain the nature of this realm that we might confront and defeat Meteor. Asinian, Pepper, would you accompany me in speaking with these dragons? Mayhap they can enlighten us. I would ask the rest of you to survey these surrounds. If there's a path that may lead us to our quarry, we must find it. I'm. Very well. We can reconvene here when everyone has finished. Meteon said these dragons are shadows and shade, from a world whose denizens sought oblivion. As such, they're not like to be amenable to a company. They'll learn conversation, so please be careful. Let us split up and gather what knowledge we may. watering my fucking eyes he is he's not dead Thancred is not dead Thancred is not there's no way there's no way they kill him off like that unless he like speaks to me in like spirit form or something and then I fucking die and cry and, oh he can finally be with Philia's spirit all that bullshit no we need to find a way to get him back to the first so we can fucking see Reen this ain't it, bro! This ain't it! Man, I'm getting my fried rice. Nah. Man. When Tiff said, when Tiff said she was fucking a ghost, she didn't just mean Arbert. She fucking meant Thancred. What the fuck? Bro, and I was like just starting to simp for Thancred too. And of course, he dies. Dude, everyone I love in this game. I can't keep a MILF. I can't keep a DILF. I can't keep anything. Then go ship. Dad cred to dead cred. Yo. Thank dead. Is not okay. A visitor, not of the star. Could thy slender hands bring plague to our world? Thy breath extinguish life's feeble flame. Oh, how we would adore thee. Alas, what the fuck? What time our flesh shall wither, our souls fade. And so we wait for its inexorable march into oblivion. If thou art not come to hasten our demise, 
I bid thee leave us. We crave not companionship, only silence. Damn! That's fucking dark! What the hell? Oh, are we all just sitting in the fucking piss? Oh no, some of you have class. Oh, whose bunny is this? Hello, Bun Bun. Are you in the chat? Hello, Bunny. I don't know if I have space. Oh my god, is that a Vosk? Wait! I'm full. Vosk and Jin! My two babes sitting together. Hello, Vosk. <laughs> oh. Is the food good at least? Yeah, my food fucking bangs, bro. My food fucks. But Pepper doesn't. So, I don't get it though. So, how does Thancred's sacrifice allow us to do this? I'm asking um, for a cup of hot chocolate chat, unless it is spoiler related. If it's a spoiler, I don't want to know. And so I'm not going to look at chat just yet oh okay never mind fuck me i guess fuck me i guess so he is dead fuck he's fucking dead oh who's that who's that who's attuning yo are we both are we both going through this for the first time yo isn't this fucked up homeboy died for this sludgy ass place. The fuck? Oh. <laughs> they gasped. Oh. Yes. Pay respect. How do I. Do I just. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Let me just eat some of this. All right, chat. At the end of the world, there really be dragons. Yo, you spitting. Who would have thunk, eh? <laughs> All right. Chat, we're tuning. Um. May the adventurist bringeth thee to glorious. <laughs> right, let's see their adventure plate. Oh. Yo, taking a peek? I am. I'm so sorry. We'll never fucking do that again. Okay, let's go speak with these other dragons. <laughs> as they made to thee as well. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I fucking love this game. Beyond that distant veil, paradise lost. So glorious, so beautiful. We were a proud and noble race. Strength embodied. We knew only love before them. Before they came. Wait! Wait! Is this from from Heaven's Word? Is this the the the, the where where all the dragons were and then the, the humans and Elizabeth and all that were like, ha ah, fuck y'all. Am I overthinking? Am I just grasping at whatever Heaven's Word like references I can grasp at? Metal monstrosities of black and silver. No bonds of blood did they share. No conviction did they have to guide them. A crushing defeat. Never have we known such shame. Still now are the winds, but none could fill these wings burdened by ignominy. 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 We fly no more, nor we sink into oblivion. Damn! Yo, I gotta recommend my therapist to y'all. She could help you out. 
pretty great. It's helped me out a ton today. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I was worried. I was really scared about today's therapy appointment chat. Oh my god. I was so scared. But you know what? <laughs> no. Thank God. Well. What's up, Ray? How are you? And I'm gonna move my um my fried rice again. Because otherwise, I'm just gonna sit here and feast. Ah! Chilling, watching you cry. Hey, I haven't cried at all today. Actually, I did cry today. But I'm related to this. So I don't want to hear it. Okay, that's actually kind of a lie. I um, he, I did tear up a little bit because of playing Chrissy. But like, we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about that, chat. We're not going to talk about the fact that I did tear up just a little bit. Thinking about the thing Chrissy crumbling before me to bringeth me unto Ultima. Nah, <laughs> it's, it's a point five. Hey, I'll fucking put a point five on there. I'll put a motherfucking point five on there. <laughs> Call me an Ultima fool. <laughs> and your FM dialed the fool. <laughs> then you're tuning back into ninety eight point five Ultima Thule. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's talk to this one. Thou wouldst bid me speak. Hmm. I observe the lesson of stone. I shall not fly, nor speak, nor roll. Only watch and wait, and end. But one sight yet stirreth my blood, tempteth me to raise my voice in emanation. Am Nol, the cradle of unsung dragons. No words, no songs are possessed of the weight to describe such a tragedy. Go, if that be thy will. I shall remain. Okay, I am. Okay, I am getting Heaven's Ward vibes. Because when they were like also. Oh, he's sleeping. When they were also, um, like doing all the like primal summonings and stuff, I just kept thinking, it's like. I just. I was like, Sheep is missing from this. You know, like, isn't it just like something ain't right? We, like, we haven't had a nod to Shiva in like a while. You know what I mean? And like, I feel like this is it. I don't know. I I don't know. But I don't know. I truly, this is one of the this is one of the few times this game has actually gotten me stumped. But like in a good way. I feel like this is what I want. This is what I need. Level cheater. Level cheater. That's funny. That's so... Oh, can I kill you? Wait, can I kill you? Can I actually kill you? Don't touch the A rank, it's too late. I'm touching it. I'm touching it. I've already touched it. I've already touched it. And look, I'm fine. Look, I'm okay. See? I'm fine. Also, this music. Okay, no one saw that. No one saw that. No one saw that. No one saw that. 
Wait, what are we talking about? Why don't they? Most of all MMOs that complete with... Wait, 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 what are we talking about? Are we... Wait, what are we... Are we about to jump down here? What are we talking about? Are we talking about the voice acting in FF14? Like, why isn't it voice acted? There's a ton of voice acting in this game. But not much in the beginning. I do wish the game was fully voice acted. I will say that. But... I don't know. Oh, of why? Well, I wish I could tell you why. Oh, eggs. Oh my God. Oh. No, please don't, no. No, no, please don't make me burst these. Fed you here as well, did they? It was described to me as the source of the woes and proof of the end. I think I'm beginning to see why. Hmm. It's a hatching ground. Or was. Have you seen Cinderella and Pyrrhus? Midgar Swarmers. Midgar. Midgar. Midgar Swarmers. Midgar Swarmers. Kind must, have, must once have lived and thrived in a place such as this. Vitra said his father was driven from an ancestral home by war and strife. This, then, is the fate of those who remained. Let's have a look around. Maybe these eggs have more to tell of what happened here. Eee. Eee. Gingerly lifting a large egg from the vicious mire, you peer inside and see a formless mass soaking in a pool of embryonic fluid. Your stomach turns as you return the egg to its resting place. Oh, I found Inside the shattered egg, you find the remains of an unborn dragon. The body has already begun to dispose, decompose. Gelatinous, half-dried membrane covering the corpse will just fail to emerge. Oh. Murky liquid has pooled inside this eggshell. The noxious feeder, fodor, is in indicative of contamination. This egg appears to have been broken from the inside out. Perhaps the dragon that within succeeded in hatching. What's this? Those old eggs have been ruined. If the dragonette was indeed hatched, there's no sign of it here. Or its sire, for that matter. We should look for them. We saw the cook tops, or search the plains. Dragons. I'm a dragon fucker. You telling me these little guys, these little guys could make it? This is that shit. I don't like them. <laughs> and Walker being sad. I, for one, am shocked. Oh no. Is that the mommy? And is that the baby looking for the mommy? Oh. Oh. Malformed dragon net. Oh. Oh, no. I'm sorry, little guy. You can't live anymore. I'm gonna kill you now. Boisterous howling hath been quieted by thy hand, I presume. Pepper does not look impressed. Everything all right? I thought I had a dragon or something resembling one. <laughs> I see what happened here. Was that your child? Perhaps. Some eggs within Amnol are indeed mine. If life within one did quicken. Beast thou hast slain me. Sa the beast thou hast slain may be of my blood. 
Yet I do not recognize it, twisted and malformed as it is. Not a dragon in truth, a reminder of our failure, a testament to our shame. Explain. I don't think I want the explanation. I might cry. They descended from the heavens, cold, heartless machines. And with them rode war and death. And with fire and fury, rage and rancor, we gave answer. It was a long and bloody battle, but only the beginning. Untold chaos and destruction swept over the star. In the end, the invaders were victorious. Yet when they looked upon their prize, they deemed it unfit for requisition. We were unable to... We were, un, we were abandoned to our ruin. The survivors sought to put away their shame. To rebuild. A futile effort. In purest soil replete with ether did we once cultivate our nesting grounds. But our lands were barren, and any eggs nurtured in such desolation were fated to rot. What few survived to hatch emerge as abominations. We shall have no new progeny. Yeah. Wow, this is so grim. But there are dragons among you capable of journeying to other stars. That there are. Many would make the attempt, each bearing a clutch of eggs. The richest stars were home to the harshest rulers, and the arrival of dragons incited the contest incited contest for supremacy. When the fires faded, the wars lost and won. They would they too were reduced to ash and waste. It is the curse of those who seek life, to be drawn into conflict, to conquer or be conquered. A vicious cycle we now choose to break. We tire of conflict, of everything. We wait now in sweet, merciful si silence, free from strife and suffering, still as stone. Wait, you claim your kind is doomed, but there is another star. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm getting like a weird feeling. Like I, are these the dragons that were part of the Dragon Song War? Or like whatever the fuck, the, like the old ancient, ba I don't know. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, all I know is I'm fucking depressed. <laughs> all I know is that this is a Sad. A test of will. Oh, I'm, am I gonna fuck him? I'm gonna fuck him, aren't I? Wait, let me catch up. Jen, thank you for the 14 months. Ada Kamor, thank you for the prime sub. Devin, thank you for the 63 months. Hello, Devin. The bereaved dragon has fallen silent, leaving Stinian to sigh with frustration. They want only to brood in silence, to be left alone with their grief until time itself comes to an end. The sole reward for senseless bloodshed, the pain I understand and wish that I did not. What fools we were. But now isn't the time for such thoughts. Those will want to hear what we learned. Come. Oh, I'm coming. Uh, this is sad. I don't know where any of this is going, but this is sad. Yeah, bro, call me a cell, because I'm about to fuck a dragon, bro. That's some sad shit. Seven, thank you for gifting Ulmo a sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Were you able to establish any meaningful contact with the dragons? Well! I see. They wish to escape what they perceive to be a cycle of conflict. Thank you, Pepper, Estinian. As for our part, I believe we are more acutely aware of our confines than before. We started by traversing the, the perimeter of the island to see if there might be a path leading off of it. Sadly, 
There's nothing to be found. There's no small amount of debris floating about. Could there be enough to serve as a bridge to lead us elsewhere? I consider that, and so I tried throwing a stone onto a potential platform to judge its integrity. But it never reached its mark. As it crossed an invisible threshold, just beyond the boundaries of silence, vanished. I'm going to reappear above me and pull out my feet. <gasps> oh my god, there are two Devons in the chat? Oh my god, one is a doctor and one is whatever? Interesting. Now we know who the superior Devon is. Yo, Jake, what's up? Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Oh my god, my hair. I would not be too quick to presume that what we see outside the space is as it appears. Which is why I returned to the Ragnarok and asked the Lockprits to search for a potential path. However, the ship's instruments failed to provide conclusive data on the surrounding area. Until we know more, I think it too risky to attempt flying to another island. What Meteon told us before, that emotions dictate reality here, might be the key. But I'm not entirely sure what emotion might manifest a bridge to lead us to safety. Hope? So what you're saying is, there's no way forward. At present, I, If it is indeed emotion that governs this island, perhaps it is not meteons, but the dragons that hold us here. Ooh. Oh my god, that's why they're white! They're like the Elpis flower! They tire of conflict, and have chosen a path of oblivion to escape it. Or rather, they have chosen no path at all. Meaning there is no way for the dragons or anyone here on this island to advance. A sound theory, disheartening though it may be. If that is the case, what course do we have? They are not like to be persuaded to help us. Their reasoning is built on a history of turmoil and strife. Without irrefutable proof, the future is not as bleak as they believe it to be. Mayhap persuasion is not the answer. I should know better. Meteon meant to unmake us then and there on the Ragnarok, and she would have succeeded if not for Thancro's determination. She conceded it was strong enough to overpower the despair that otherwise rules Ultima Thule, and reshape it to a degree. Oh. <laughs> Thancred! Perhaps it can be done again in like, in like manner, by overpowering the prevailing emotions. It was Ultima's... Ultima... <laughs> So was Ultima Thule's architect, Meteon herself, against whom Thancred did pit himself in a clash of wills. Though I marked no leader among them, as such, I did chance to encounter a dragon possessed of despair far more potent than most, potent enough mayhap to dictate the course for others, and thus their domain to follow. He spoke but few words carefully chosen, their tone and timber alone threatening to rend my heart in twain. Challenging his desire to remain may allow us to alter the island upon which we stand. Alas, I fear my vaunted retort rhetoric availed me not against his calcifying heart. But mayhap one of you will fare better. I have to fuck a dragon. I have to dance around a dragon, show it my pussy, and give it hope. Understandable, honestly. And I shall guide thee. All ends, they call him in the dragon tongue. Thou wilt find him nearby, eyes fixed upon the water. Is it that one right there? Well, what have we to lose? Let's get going. <sighs> I gotta put the hoe in hope? That's what I'm saying. I gotta hoe it out for, for, <laughs> for peace. My brother just texted me and asked, do I know the show Shorzy? Yes, and tell him that the girl that you mod for his ass is in it. The pussy saves the universe. It's like Scott Pilgrim versus the world, except pussy Mint. Or the dragons versus the pussy. I don't know. 
the papussy versus the world. It's literally the papussy versus the world. Yo, I could do side quests for these dragons? Bro. Nah. I know they're gonna be sad. Chat, one of these days, I will be like, I will be doing some casual FF14 streams, and on some of those streams, we are literally just gonna go through the yellow side quest. Also, fair skies, very cool. I don't get fancy weather here. <laughs> really, nothing? Nothing fancy about this at all? You know what game I really wanna start streaming again? I've been saying this for months now, but I really wanna get back into Skyrim. Hey, Nisper. Side quest enthusiast stream begins now. Would y'all watch that? I don't know if it'd be like an entertaining stream, but like I'd do it. Hello, Oland. Or Al. What up, Al? What up, Big Al? Oh. He remaineth as he was when I first approached, entombed in melancholy. I see. Perhaps I could. Oh no, let the policy do this. it. Oh, the Estusi, my bad. Oh my god. So, waiting to die like all the others, are you? <laughs> Oh my god! Is this the other point five or is this just five? I mean, is this point five or is this one? is crushed and our souls corrupted. The winds are stilled and the heavens offer no comfort. There is nothing left for our kind. Our long lives are cursed as we await the end. The stone as we shall become. So you say. Yet your kind has found a new beginning on our star. One of you braved the expanse. Bearing with him a clutch of eggs. They and their children now rule our skies. Their song heard by all. <laughs> our kin on the nether star. And yet, upon thee do I smell the blood of my brethren. 
Were they drawn into discord and war on the new They were. They suffered much and repaid their suffering in kind. It mattereth not whether we fly, not whither we fly. Ever will ascend the ocean await us. Ever will retribution us. And so, on the last of my bride as a dragon, I break free of this wheel. Come on, Daenerys! <laughs> I renounce conflict, exile myself from the other, never again to be touched by the flames of hatred. Had your brethren made the selfsame choice, my family might still be alive. <laughs> Yet lasting peace does not come to those who simply retreat from conflict. No, you must be willing to confront it. To stare into the face of your foe and see yourself in him. Break the cycle of torment and tragedy. This lesson, a dear friend taught me at the risk of his life. There is no nobility in your penance. You wallow in self-pity. Call him out! We will not let you stop us. just told y'all that I was gonna fuck him. No, not Estinian too. And they literally... Is that an ether current? Can I fly There's now? Or is there a new path now? He's opened the way for us. Oh! Sacrificed himself to remake this place. Like Thancred did. I don't like this game! I don't oh, want to play Alfred. anymore! He would 
not. this game. I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> For love and best, I was a mess. Oh, I can't even imagine, Ray. Are we calling it an even 100? Okay, we'll call it an even 100 since that was like a full cry in there. A little baby, a little baby sad, and then a, and then an actual cry. That I wanted to fuck a Stinian, guys. I shouldn't have said anything. Now he's gone. Oh my god, am I gonna lose all of them? Ariange and Ishtola. Oh, my wife. Oh my god, Grahatia, my wife. I can't. Not again. Get away from me. This game was so mean. I had barely slept for a week and a half by the time I got into this part. I know a lot of people that binged the fuck out of Endwalker. Some people didn't leave their home. Some people didn't eat. Some people didn't sleep. It was crazy. Look there, the wind. This is what is doing, I'm sure of it. We should ride its flow and see where it leads. I wanted to ride his flow, but he, I can't now, can I? Woo! I made it. The powerful gales delivered you to another island. Yes, I am, should arrive before long. Oh, I wait. We've made it. We've reached another one. Must thank you for the seven month reset. He, he did it. He found a way forward for us. I can think 
How does this, like, how does this possibly take, how can there even possibly be another expansion after this? Like, what more could possibly happen? What more is there to happen? We got, like, Pirates of the Caribbean coming up, like... Try against a rage trap and then a prison of their own making. Lamenting the horrors of war. Every Estonian news have better than most. Is this a hundred and one or is it the same one? I feel like this is a hundred and one. Bro, I told you. How many of these cries are because of me remembering heaven's word, bro? Can't believe we're in the triple digits, holy fuck. He was a man of honor and a dear friend, willing to fight to the very end for what he believed was right. <laughs> and he's still fighting out, you know, just like Pancre. <laughs> Sacrifices are why we can survive here. Why we still have a chance to stop her. Even in spirit, they're unwilling to give in to despair. We mustn't either. Alize is right. We must press on for their sake. What's up? What's up, y'all? All right, God talks to Alfie now. Alfie now, roads paved, sacrifice. Alfie now's regained his composure and is ready to proceed. Oh, this music. As you still on Ellie's, is that we must continue. All right, chat, let's go. Hmm. Notice the change in our surroundings. Perhaps this is the memory of an altogether different world. Hmm. It would be prudent to learn more of it then. Tread carefully, lest we lose our footing in the sand. Oh, we've got an ad ro running. Can we get a command ad in the chat? All right, where are we going? It's still kind of giving us a slaw. Oh, they got gloopy guys. They got gloopy dudes. Oh, they got weird burger barb derbs. What is this? But not for the violet crystal embedded in its surface, it appears an ordinary stone. A curious script hath been etched upon them. Alas, it's not a language which I, am, with which I am familiar. I cannot say I recognize it either. No, I. The dragons were, from what I recall, preserved the knowledge and song and issue the written word entirely to so it is the work of another race one we have yet to encounter Meteon claimed the dragons would world suffered a slow death seeking the release of oblivion what life we find here like as not doth wend its way towards a similar end oh this is so fucked up what do you suppose that is over there well, I, I spot an ether current I'm not sure it's hard to make out in the distance but the surface seems to bear the same crystals as this monument this thing I mean, there's a chance we may find whoever built them both. Just go have a look. Come on. All right. Well, let me go get this ether currents first. Where this gloopy, 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 gloop thing is. Oh, Obsidian! Hello, oh, Obsidian! I hope you have a lovely evening. Do you think we can um? I can increase the music a little bit or would it be too loud chat? It's really good. It's kind of a bop. I can't I can't even lie. It's kind of a bop. Man, this is fuck. Does this not remind you of Azis Law? And the dragons obviously did not help with that. And that looks like the Void Ussi. With like La Habrea and all that bullshit. Ghostly figure. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. Hail, 
fellow travelers. This is a most unexpected occurrence. I don't know what it, what it would sound like. Oh, um, hello there. Is this your home? What would this thing sound like? Indeed it is. Ah, forgive me. I had forgotten. An exchange of introductions is expected when first meeting those with whom is unacquainted. Oh! Oh. <laughs> when the vibration of vocal folds was still required to convey our thoughts and intentions. Our intention. E. I believe is the pronunciation used when referring to our people. E. <laughs> is not entirely applicable given our present state. You are welcome to use this appellation. As for nomenclature, nature to address my individual person, I believe it'd be pronounced Kofkuj. Kofkuj. Yes. Kofkuj of the E. Ear. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Coochie. We have encountered beings that communicate inter intermittently through thoughts, but never one that is holy with that voice. I presume we, ha we are having this conversation via the medium of ether, or dynamis, as the space is suffused with vast quantities of it. Fascinating in either case. It's coochie now. It's, yeah, it's coochie coo. Coochie coo of the E. I gather your response to my presence is positive then. That is well, for there is something I wish to ask of you. Like yourselves, we are ether-based life forms. Therefore, it may be surmised that your bodies are of comparable biological composition to those we once possessed. I have a number of queries regarding your subjective perception of the five senses. Sight, sound, taste, touch and smell. In total, I have prepared 198,712,180,827. That's rather a lot, isn't it? Uh, my apologies. I have omitted a great many details necessary to understand the nature of my request. <coughs> oh, buggers. Though we dispensed with our corporeal vessels long ago, we have rediscovered a need for the flesh and have endeavored to create, recreate our erstwhile forms. However, all pertinent records have been lost due to the passage of time. Take, for example, the nervous system. It is well within our power to recreate, but we have no frame of reference for sensations once experienced by our people which may compromise our ability to interact with our physical environment. And the reason you need to regain corporeal forms. Why? To bring an end to our existence, of course. Mm. Oh, need is perhaps too strong a word. It would be a simple matter to unmake ourselves to use of etheric exsanguinators. But such a death seems... Inadequate. This is so fucked up. All of this is fucked up, but I love it. The music is also kind of giving Coraline. Are y'all getting that vibe? Like the floaty VA voice choice? Thank you. If you're freezing, turn off the air conditioning. That is so ra- That is so random. If I'm freezing, I should turn off the AC. First of all, what makes you think I'm freezing? Second of all, what makes you think I have the AC on? It is December 6th. I live in Toronto. Do you just want me to take off the um, the, the blanket so you can see my boobs? What a random thing to say. Anyway. The traditionalists among us believe proper death requires an inescapable sense of impermanence in one's final moments. An experience found only with bodies of flesh. <clears throat> I 
We should very much like to hear more of your plans. In exchange, we will answer any questions you have to the best of our ability. Hmm. Such an exchange of information would indeed prove useful. Very well. To ensure efficacious efficacious exchange, I hereby invite you to our home. Yes, the abode of the Ea, Ea, E. It's it's fucking E now. It's just E to me. Where we traditionalists prepare for our demise. I presume your consent to answer questions is indicative of a tactic approval of our plans. In which case, your cooperation is greatly appreciated. I must caution you, however, to be mindful of the E wandering the desert. Their desire for bodies of flesh could be described as overzealous. Now, if you would follow me... <laughs> I like E. Just E. Just E. 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 <laughs> This is going rather smoothly. Not that I'm complaining, mind. Even so, we mustn't forget that aim is oblivion, much like the dragons. Though I fail to see why civilization so seemingly advanced would choose to unmake all they have created. Oh, do you think they're the ancient ones? <laughs> e. At any rate, we'll find no answers dallying here. We'll just be on our way. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh, this music is so good. Oh my god, are they gonna make us do base Omicron? Are they gonna make us explore this entire place? Chat, am I gonna be here for a while? Yo, Luminian! Yo, it's Jalen, bro! Are these like the ancient ones? The Alex? Like what am I? I am curious, 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 curious. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. Are you kidding? Oh my god, I'm gonna come. Alright, Kuchiku, what's up? Welcome to our abode. Most of our compeers you will find remain idle in the do domiciles. Though your quizzical expressions indicate my phrasing is unclear. Okay, I just got called the fuck out. I just called the fuck. I just got called the fuck out. Holy shit. I speak, of course, of the violet crystalline constructs hanging from the stone structures there. Oh. You say they remain idle, but what do your work what of your work to regain coil bodies? An astute question, and understandable, given your finite nature. We have no desire to pursue our research, for it is no longer necessary. If in our idleness we are struck by sudden inspiration, we rise to pursue said inspiration to its conclusion. That is why I present for your arrival. Oh, that is why I was present for your arrival, and why I continue to engage with you still. But while the others are not currently in a motile state, rest assured they would not object were you to disturb their respite. You need only cast your thoughts towards one of their crystalline domiciles to communicate. Alright, so now I gotta go touch the balls. I gotta go touch 14 balls. 14 balls. Alright. Let's touch them, chat. They're pretty. They're just... I'm, a, I'm attuning with the balls. I'm tuning with the balls. You cast your thoughts aside. Thoughts to... Ah! You cast your thoughts toward the crystalline domicile, but there's no response. All right? The nut juice don't want to communicate with me in this one. Oi. There we go. 
touch 14 balls, that's how I join my frat. You... You wish... To speak? Very well. Pray. A moment, if you would. Nice. Alright, we got one. Oh, let me attune. I'm here? I'm at. <laughs> what is going on here? What is going on here? Alright, let me attune. Who's this? Who are you? You're hot. What the fuck? Oh, I wish I had space. I gotta make space. I gotta remove more people. I feel so bad. I have no idea when some of, when some of these people are gonna like return here to this game. Who do I who do I even who can I even get rid of? Okay, so that's that's Action Star's friend, so we'll get rid of them. And we'll get rid of I don't even remember who this is. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's attune. We're attuning. Oh, that's you? That's you, RMC? I bet. Slay mamas. I think I got rid of them, Nissan, but I'll double check. by alphabetical um oh i did not and i got rid of little sebastian we're tuning we're tuning oh look at that one in the back it's like a spider why we seek our end you ask if you wish to know, I will tell you. Just a moment, I must remember. What form did I take when I last emerged? Ooh, I'm excited now. Well, let's see what my wife has to say about all this. I heard correctly, the ear within this crystal says it will emerge from within shortly. You're supposed to all appear as Kuchiku does. I don't know, actually. I honestly don't think so, and I think that's gonna be part of the surprise. I'm nervous. I'm excited to see what they once were as well. Oh, this is so sad. Uh, the strange moaning comes and goes, but soon fades into silence. Oh, they finished. How oh, beautiful. Wish that were me. Yo, the names of these quests are crazy. The way that they use, like, other, um... Like font, they're like text symbols. So cool. All right, let's go speak with Kuchiku. Oh, Kuchiku! Your inquiries yield satisfactory responses. I see. If they fail to answer, then it is likely because their minds have unraveled due to prolonged idleness. They are not but concentrated ether now. Worry not. There are no others who would who have need of those lodgings, and they will not prove a hindrance to remain as they are. But more importantly, you said some few did answer your quest for an audience, yes? I imagine they will be with us here long. Fresh wait, flesh abandon abandon lol? Is it just me or is like the text getting more wonky with each like quest? This is so cool. Kuchiku languidly awaits their brethren's arrival. Oh, I'm excited. This is neat. Yeah, I had no luck, but everyone else fared well enough. Quite a few have awakened. Ah, there they are. Look at all the coochies. Or what if they're moogles? I don't know. May I introduce you to Lalak, Dudik, and Nini? <laughs> Try to think. What creatures do I recall having similar names?
And this song, I'm trying to just like... I wonder if they're like... The... The... The dwarf Lala's from... The first... Flesh abandoned? That's what it's called. It's crazy. It has been too long, Coochie Coo. I dare say Sada the, the fish baby has been <laughs> since completed in all of it. Indeed, until the travelers brought it to my attention, I had noticed how unraveled some had become. Travelers. Ah, of course, of course. The ones who wish to know why we seek to regain corporeal forms. The truth of the matter is as plain to see as the neighboring systems, but my single account would fail to satisfy the requirement for scientific objectivity. Thus did I bid them awaken you. Am I the only one who struggles to tell who is speaking? Funny he says that because I purposely did not um, change the voice for them. <laughs> Nay, thou art not. In the absence of corporeal forms and divergence, therefore, may have some similarity in voices unavoidable. By the way, Coochie Coo, have you already observed the requisite custom for the travelers? That which one is expected to do when receiving guests? A matter of proper form. Wait. Was I right? Ah, oh, yes. So long has it been. It had completely escaped my mind, and still does. What was it again? I can't seem to remember. Am I about to get lolly hoed? Neither do I. Pity. I was hoping you would. Perhaps we can search the archives for the answer. Come now, Nanid. Nanij, the archives have long been frozen, unless we subject ourselves to further dollar. Surely you recall that much. Ah, of course. Oh, food. The customers to serve food. The guys from Stormblood, right? The turtle dudes? Oh no, that was. <sighs> Beings of flesh such as they must regularly replenish their ether. By contributing to their replenishment, we communicate our friendly intention. No, I think I'm just digging too deep. That's right, that's right! We duly invite you to join us in communal repast. After which we may engage in leisurely conversation. If we have a chance to learn something, then I see no reason to decline. Excellent. If you care to follow, we shall feast you on the purest ether. Alright, I'm gonna speed up the way that I'm speaking because I am... Like, the voice acting is, like, too slow. It's way too slow, and I, I want to get through this, so I'm we're, we're, we're ditching the voice for these guys. This facility is where we replenish our ether. There's no particular name for it, but we traditionalists sometimes use the word restaurant. <laughs> now then, if you would take your place with your comrades, the space will soon be awash with purest ether. Please absorb as much as you like. Nice. All right. Let's go eat in the cafeteria. Oh my god, this is so cute. It's like a snowflake. You brace yourself for a rush of sweet, sweet ether, but nothing seems to happen. Perhaps need to wait a little longer. All right, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. I'm trying to eat. You brace yourself again. But again, nothing seems to happen. Just as I suspected, as meticulously as one might recreate the ear's home world, this is Ultima Thule. One cannot simply generate ether here. As recreations, 
are friends are oblivious to this fact. To the very truth of the existence, much like the phantoms of the recreated Amorot. However, ex appearances may seem, we m must ever be mindful that it is the memories of the dead with whom we deal. Well, now I'm fucking sad. Hmm? No, not voice acted. So, did you have your fill of ether? Alas, we couldn't absorb it. A deficiency in our forms, it would seem. Oh, how very unfortunate. May I ask how you normally replenish your ether? El gasp. Through your mouths, you say? How very primitive and quaint. To think their mouths have not only to expel sound, but draw in sustenance besides. Such life forms have long since vanished from our systems. Though we regrettably could not partake of your magnificent feast, rest assured we feel your welcome most keenly. In the course of acquainting ourselves with your sophisticated ways, however, we could not fail but wonder. Wherefore do you wish to obtain vessels of flesh, and thence to vanish? Will you not favor us with an explanation? Your flesh and blood beings are always so hasty. Oh, you flesh and blood beings are always so hasty. It does have its charm, however. Very well, we shall indulge, indulge you. In the beginning, when the ear yet possessed corporeal bodies, our ancestors dedicated themselves to the pursuit of knowledge and technological advancement. By transcending, by transcending all limitations, we believe we would eliminate sorrow and abide in true happiness. From the tangible such as land to the intangible such as labor, there exist myriad hindrances to progress. To progress, but the most confining of all was the flesh itself. Interesting. Our natural lifespan was distressingly mid middling, you see. Too short to enjoy unhurried lives, yet too long to be considered disposable. Furthermore, to simply maintain the integrity of our bodies demanded considerable resources. We managed to solve this problem. After long years, we, were dis we discovered how to become non-corporeal entities with everlasting lives, untroubled by the failures of the flesh. Interesting. Thus changed, we had more time and freedom to continue our scientific pursuits. We went on to make ever greater strides in our quest to transcend all limitations until we finally decided to challenge the last of them all, the limit of knowledge. That is to say, deciphering the laws of creation. We sought to discover how the universe came into being and explain all extant phenomena, and thence predict the future. If we could but achieve this, we believed that we would be free from uncertain uncertainty and anxiety. Yo. Can I get some of that? Did you find the answers you sought? Yes, we did. Our efforts revealed to us a fundamental truth. Knowledge of said truth is essential for the continuation of our conversation. If you would learn more, we will share it with you. No, we mustn't. Primitive as they are, it would be unspeakably cruel to deprive them of their ignorance. They are possessed of poor forms, their lives readily ended. As those who have gone before, it is, not, is it not a duty to, duty to warn them? What thinkest thou? Patience. We have deliberated and come to a consensus. If you are resolved to know it, we will disclose to you the truth we discovered. The truth of the universe. Seek us at the stone pillars just outside the bounds of the abode. A place called Elegia. Elegia. I'm getting I'm getting um um major um I just once again like I'm getting just major like Elpis vibes. I don't know. I don't know. A fundamental truth. We will hear it, of course. Let us learn from what has led such an enlightened people to this indolent end. Oh, question mark, question mark, question mark! Where knowledge leads. Something seems to be weighing on Uriange's mind. Ere we join the E, the E, the E, there's one trifling matter I would fain investigate. Pepper Grahatia, might I help you for your assistance? Last time he said this, we lost the stadium. I'm about to lose my wife. 
but of course. My thanks. We shall head outside the abode if you kindly follow me. I know not what mischief you I know not what mischief you mischief you are plotting, Rianger, but I trust you have our best interests at heart. The rest of us shall go on ahead to Elegia. Elegia. Lest you worry, we won't start without you. Wait. Elegia is I yell backwards. You almost got me there. <laughs> so close, yet so far. I know, I'm, I'm getting so tired, chat. It's almost 10.30 and I'm so tired. I'm so fucking sleepy. But like, we can do this, right? Like, we can finish this, right? Or at least like, get far, right? Yo, Michaela, what's up? Wake up? I'm trying, bro. I'm so sleepy. I can do it. Do you think I can? Do you think we can do it? Couple hours left, you think? I mean, yeah, if I get too, too, too tired, I will obviously end, but like, yeah, we might, we might have a chance. Um, if anything, we can play more tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't that on the, ain't the end of the world. Give me one sec, though. Take a seat in the living room for just one moment. For just one moment, chat, okay? But I'm okay. I'm okay, I promise. But I just need...
Yeah, the game awards are tomorrow. I might stream them. I'm not an official co-streamer, but like, I still can. Ah, <sighs> okay. Hi friends, are you ready? All right. All right, lest you worry, we won't stop without you. All right, let's go see Urianje kill Graha. Let's see Urianje kill my wife. Okay, I don't know what to expect. So y'all said there's about three hours left of this game. Do are we gonna finish it? Are we gonna finish this game tonight? Is it actually happening? I mean, look, I know, I know we still have like the patches to complete, but yeah. Oh, Tiamat, hello! I'll stick around as long as you go. Thank you, Ken. You have caffeine? I do, but if I have more caffeine, unfortunately, it's gonna make me very anxious. So I'm gonna need chat to keep me awake. It's all on y'all chat. Y'all are gonna have to hype me up. Look at these little dudes. Hey, Carden. Hello. Hello, chat. Chat, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Are you playing keyboard and mouse? No. This is, um, controller. We need jump scares. Is this the part where I turn on alerts again? Ooh, look at the water. Sparkly. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, it finally changed. Umbral wind. Umbral wind? Oh. Oh, wowie, zowie, bowsy, bowser. Oh, now this. Now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. This is gorgeous. Hi, this place shall serve. Is it the spring that you wish to investigate? Pray forgive me, my friends, but there's not to investigate. It was but a pretense to speak in private. You have our undivided attention. Does he know? As we have established here in Ultima Thule, those denizens of ruined stars are recreated in their twilight days. Yet one question doth arise in my mind. So faithfully formed are the simulacra. They believe themselves yet amongst the living. How dost thou suppose this is possible? Meteon has taken their hearts unto herself. Meteon made contact with them while they still lived. I couldn't begin to guess. I'm gonna go with the second one. Of course! She must have visited the stars of the dragons in the ear before either race perished in their turn in their entirety. Thus could she make the emotions her own, and with them create more faithful simula simulacra. Then, then has she relied on any historical account? So too did I theorize, and upon that assumption consider how those two races may have met the demise. According to thine own tale, Meteon perceiveth the emotions of those nearby as her own, a heightened sense of empathy intrinsic, intrinsic to her nature as an entelechy. In the course of her starfaring journey, if she encountered beings who strongly desired a cessation of their existence, she would be powerless before that desire. Even as she possesseth the power to grant it, the power of dynamis, does my sus supposition that, overwhelmed by their longing for death, Meteon did unleash dynamis and ushered the dragons in the ear unto the doom? Yes, that sounds about right. Why am I making that face though? Of course, such was not always the outcome. For many stars did she find already lost to ruin. In order to create a terminus, however, the fervent desire for the end is essential. Therefore, should you struggle to find the way forward, pray ask yourself this. In the place where you stand, whose is the soul that yearneth most desperately for oblivion? Why do you tell us this now? Now again, would I betray your trust, this pledge I did make to my comrades? 
lean to my confidence, I remain true to my word. As for thee, let us consider it my fitting reward for the secrets I harbored for the crystal exarch. I once placed my faith in thy chosen path, walking at thy side, full knowing that we were bound for thy demise. now that thou returnest to favor and abide in fate as I shall find my own destiny. If you say my debt has come due, how am I to refuse? Tis indelicate of me, I know full well, and I can but beg thy forgiveness. Yet even if I must needs go to such lengths, I cannot feign ignorance of the answer I found within. The answer to the question, in what moment might I stand strongest? After all that we've been through, I will say only this. Do what you must. Do what you must and see your conviction through. I shall, my friend. I shall. Without further ado then, let us join our comrades. Yo, if that ain't a fucking mood, if that ain't a schmood, y'all. Yeah, me too, man. Let's be off to Allegia. Allegia. My cramps are kicking in too. I have I've had some serious period cramps over the last few days. It's gonna come any second now and I'm not looking forward to it. I just want cuddles and head pats and ice cream and kisses. You know. And Walker just so much fun. Nixie, how did you do this? How did you fucking do this? Oh, by the way, speaking of Emmys, not this Emmys, but my other friend Emmy, the other one, Emmy Juju, look what she made me because I was... So Emmy, like, she... She, um... Because I've been going through shit. She, um... She made me a surprise. She doesn't even play Final Fantasy, but she's really good at crocheting things. But she made me. She made me a big ass motherfucking moogle. It's so cute. She's like, so it's a bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but bigger is better, right? Also, I didn't add why it's just in case Waldo got- Waldo was being a silly boy, so it's a bit flaccid. <laughs> it's really cute. I'm like... That's gonna be my new cuddle- my new cuddle buddy. 
I'm always collecting new plushies to sleep with, and I think that one's gonna be like the one. I know, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. <gasps> There's my big schwool. There's my schwool, go. Hi, little girl. Come here, booby. Come. Aldo, come here. I want to pet you. Come. <laughs> come here. I want to pet you. Come. <coughs> Or you want this? Come here. Come. Come smell this. Come here. Come here, Waldo. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I tricked you. I tricked you, Fifi. I tricked you. I tricked you. I his nose that came out of his nose I know you have water one let me see he might want water one second The tippy taps. <laughs> he got high heels on. He tippity tippity tappity tap. Yeah. All those us uh, sweetheart. We all love him. We all love him. He's a brat though. <laughs> like he he's so good. He listens very well. He's very kind, but he is an absolute fucking brat. He's a good boy. He's a very, very good boy. He's very gentle, very sweet. But he likes having his own way. Uh, there's a dog like that in my neighborhood that his owner walks by my house and ends. It takes all my willpower not to hug it. Ask! Sammy's love hugs! He's a brothel, ma'am. Looked at who raised him. Um, listen, I know. He, he absolutely reflects me. I know. But it's like the breed as well. Sammy's are just ruthless. But... He takes after his mom for sure. <laughs> Seems everyone's accountable. Shall we then? Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. True, their cuteness is what gets them away with everything. Please continue. Tell us about this truth you discovered. Oh, uh, I don't want to know. Bear in mind, however, that the purpose of this conversation is not to impart scholarly knowledge. I mean, look, I kind of nailed it. We will forego the if you distorted my voice. Of scientific methodology and deal only with the conclusion, the end of our society and our world. <laughs> we acknowledge with regret that your star is in the midst of the same panic induced cataclysm. That befell Deneb 3. Deneb 3. As such, in order to avoid causing undue distress, we will refrain from explicitly stating how much time you have remaining. Wow, that's very considerate. Thank you. You are entirely too kind. <laughs> okay, you recount your tale as you see fit. In the beginning, 
The universe was but a tiny particle. Then suddenly, this particle began to expand. The Big Bang, baby! Having remained entirely in the bounds of your star, the phenomenon may be difficult for your kind to grasp. But this expansion has since continued unabated. Just like that. Speculating that the universe could not grow indefinitely, we sought to learn what might occur and made a worrying discovery. The stars will continue to spread apart, as will their finite thermal energies. Just like the pussy. Eventually, all heavenly bodies will grow cold and freeze. No new stars will be born, and the universe will enter into an eternal ice age. of proving that this determination was erroneous. We scrutinized our research from all angles, even as we sought to avert the everlasting winter. The endeavor proved fruitless. So infamously so, in fact, that it became synonymous with vain effort. The universe as we know it would end and there is no way to prevent it. Beneath the weight of this knowledge, our society stagnated. Though we had time still, it was a cold comfort. <laughs> Why strive for anything when desolation is assured? When our wealth of wisdom accumulated since the dawning of our kind, would be forever lost. No civilization would rise from our ashes. No scholar recover our knowledge. In silence unbroken, naught would stir. Intellect was once our pride. Overnight, it became our shame. Our works, monuments to futility. Immortality, our greatest invention, became a source of suffering. Rather than suffer on, many chose to unmake themselves by means of etheric exsanguinators. Hey, what's up? Why are you huffing at me? You happy? It's a poo poo? Oh yeah, you look. Oh, you burp. Nice. You're yummy, huh? <coughs> what? You had your foo foo. What? Why are you pawing? Hold on. What? What? Yeah, he just wants to play. He just wants to play. Hi! Hello! Can you wait?
Good night, Joker. Take care. Excuse me. You are being very rude. No, you're being very rude. Mommy is playing her games and mommy is working so I can make money so I can feed you and give you toys. Do you wanna sit here? My slippers in the way and this receipt? <laughs> yeah, he probably is barking because of worship on it. You barking because of Emmett? I know he just wants some love. Why do? Why do? <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh uh. What do you think? Why are you stamping? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, fuck you, I'm drinking my water then. <laughs> He's such a brat. Well, let's give him a second. Let's see if he'll come bother me. Holly! Thank you for 10 months. He's a sassy, sassy little boy. He's still drinking his water. Oh. Pause. Can we talk about the pillow? Um, Orshvant? Yes. Actually, I want it to be the other way around. I don't want it to be that side. I want it to be his armor. Hello? That's a baby. That's just a baby. Look at him. Hello. What are you doing? Look at those feet. Look at those toes. You want to sniff my drink? Yo, Brandon. What's up? They've been 17 months. Come here. What? What? Come back here. Here, come sniff. Come sniff. Ow. <coughs> Hello, Tiff. He misses you too. Give me, give me this much sass. I, I don't know. I don't know what's in it today. I think it's because he had a whole weekend with girls over. So now he's like, um, where are my bitches? Where are my hoes at? Here, I'm gonna. Say <coughs> I'm gonna set up uh, his chew toy. <coughs>
I'm gonna take him for a quick W-A-L-K because I can't have him barking so much right now. He's really hyper. <laughs> so I'm gonna take him on a quick, a quick. End walkies time. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh my goodness! Okay. Be... Okay! Can you be nice? Okay, I'll I'll be right back. Or I'll I'll leave you. Oh my god, I'm coming! I'll leave. <laughs> oh, where's my fucking BRB? There we go. Okay, I'll leave you here.
I've returned. I'm back, Twitch. I've returned from my little walk with Waldo. And I do believe that I'm ready to tackle some more end. Oh my god, this dog is already fucking barking. He's fine. He um he just peed and then would not stop smelling like everything in his past. <laughs> he said I'm back too. <laughs> yeah. He had to announce his return as well. Little <laughs> shit. Oh. I hope I didn't lose any of you. I hope you're all ready for more MSQ. I've got to fix me, me, me ears though. Oh shit. It's coming. Yeah. Like he's still giving me attitude. You didn't go out with the ears on? No, because I have to put a hat on. And the ears are huge. Unfortunately. I would go out with them on. I have gone out with them on. But they're very large. Like, I can't really hide these, you know what I mean? Alright. Chat, so I have a question. So because I can stream Vampire Diaries on Twitch, would y'all want to watch it with me? Because I've been watching it alone on my couch and it's so boring to watch on my own. I'm like not even enjoying the show, but like I would love to just put it on here while I game and just have it up and like just be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I've never seen it. Okay, well I'm on season five. And honestly, you can catch on so easily. I'm gonna ask if you want to watch it. If you wanted to watch Buddy Vampire Diaries, oh my God, Davy, meant to be. Never heard of it. It's um, it came out quite a few years ago during the vampire romance period. Um, and I started watching it honestly like a year ago or something, and I watched like three episodes, four episodes a month, basically. So, yeah. I'm, like, I'm not watching it to pay attention. Like, I'm not watching it to pay attention. I'm not paying attention when I watch it. It's just background noise, and it's stimulating enough that every so often I go, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, it's kind of shit. It has its moments, I will say. The show does have its moments where I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? But, you know, I'm not like... You know? You know what I mean? Hello, Trader Bows. Main character has my name, I can't watch it, and she sucks. Elena sucks. But you don't watch it for Elena. You watch it for Stefussy. And Demussy, and Kath Russie, and Clussy. No, she's awful. She's actually the worst. There's a line that Catherine says to her, and she's like, "No, poor Elena, always the victim." And I was like, "Oh, oh, eight. <laughs> What could you possibly want? What could you possibly want? I gave you food, I gave you water, I gave you peepees. Do you want my foot? He turned his head. Where is it, baby? Do you want a sniff? What this? this mm. 
like that. Attention. A little bit of attention. Okay. All right. He just wants some attention, chat. He wants to try the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. True. And maybe he just wants pets. Oh, I was told True Blood was supposed to be good. Oh, he investigate. Mommy's office. Isn't it so crazy that pets don't live forever? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean I don't get this thing forever? It kills me because I'm his, he has me for his entire life and I only have him for a part of mine. so sad you hear the sounds coming from my headset I know they're kind of spooky can I touch points 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 you're gonna make me cry thinking about my old dog I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I love my fat boy fat boy can mommy work please I'll come nap with you after okay <laughs> all right Are you going to tell her dog she can't pay attention to it when he wants her attention? Can you believe that? Can you believe that, actually? <laughs> I'm not supposed to pay any attention to my dog when he wants me. I'm actually supposed to give him alcohol and push him away and throw him around and hit him, actually. Yeah, let me just go pour some vodka real quick. Could you... Do you all remember that? That old, old Twitch drama? Hi, yeah, bye, baby. I don't know what he wants. I think he honestly just wants attention. Uh, let me try turning down the heat and let me just check his water bowl. Hold on. I healed, I healed, I healed, I healed, I healed me. It's not even hot in here. It's hot in my office, but it's not hot in the home. So I'm just gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a treat. Chat, this is from you. Okay. All right. 
I'm trying so hard. I'm so I'm trying so hard, chat. Oi. Oh. There we go. See? No, 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 no. Easy, 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 easy. There we go. Oh, wait, you took the whole thing! <laughs> oh goodness oh goodness it's in his beard my boy crouching he crouching he crouched can y'all hear him crunch can you hear the crunchies Oi! Oi! No, he's got he's got some tear lines, but not not too 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 much. They come and go, but I I do take good care of my baby. His fur is a little bit matted because I have arthritis. It's very difficult for me to brush him all the time. But he's a very, very Ow! You nibble me. You nibble me. You nibble me. You nibble. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Um but yeah. Did he bite yeah, he just nibbled me, it's okay. It don't hurt. Okay, just the last one. Just the last one. Back up. Sit. Can I get pop? Oi! Can I get foots? No, not, not this one. This one. Can I get foots? Okay. Thank you. Ay, ay! Hello. Hello. No. Can I kiss? Can I get... Okay. <laughs> no kiss. <laughs> I'm done! I'm done! I'm done, my goosey. I'm done, my goosey. I'm done, my goosey. Oh, the chubby. Oh, the chubby, 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 chubby. <laughs> look at your fur. You look all staticky. I'm sorry. Here, let me sleep you out. There you go. Say bye bye. <laughs> How old are they? Waldo is four years old. He will be. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to zoom in on Orange Devon. He's four years old. He will be, uh, fuck. He'll be five in March. <laughs> really? He's back? Y'all underestimate Waldo's neediness. Sammy's are incredibly needy incredibly chatty stubborn and loud um they're very lovable but like they demand a lot and they warn you that before you get one you know what i mean like look it up anywhere yes they're lovable yes they're cuddly like whatever but my fucking god they have attitudes sounds like sire yes Yes, there's literally a reason why I got him. Like, I remember, like, for years when I was looking up Sammy's, I'm like, oh, they sound like me. We're compatible. <laughs> hey, energy baby, like a husky? Yes. Not as loud, but yes. And much better at playing. <laughs> okay. All right. My ex is a Sammy head? Yes. Sorry, you had to find out this way. Okay. 
Ready? All right, it's coochie time. Endwalker time. Can we get a notice in the chat if we're ready for Endwalker again? <laughs> oh, let me see those naughties in the chat. Those naughties in the chat? Oh man, I gotta, I gotta cut my bangs. I think I'll do that after stream. We got a Graham because Jamie read the description. She said, that's me. Hey, sometimes those turn into the best friends. You know, the bestest of friends. All right, looks like we're ready. All right, let's go. Etched upon these stones are the testaments of such souls. Though many left no words at all, thinking it a pointless gesture. Once we have obtained vessels of flesh, we likewise intend to vanish. If you this understand is so this, and cool. understand aught of our tale, you will abandon your quest for knowledge. Mm. Ignorance truly is bliss. <sighs> if yep. you would cling to your illusory happiness, Remain primitive and pure. It is the only way. <sighs> so that's your story. While I appreciate your advice, I will not heed it. Convinced though you may be of this truth, it is yours and not mine. Indeed, truth, I have ever believed, is in the eye of the beholder. Are you suggesting that we have reached a faulty conclusion? That our science failed us? Hardly. As you yourself said, the subject matter is beyond my comprehension. And that, I accept, is true. I do not possess the knowledge to prove or disprove your conclusion. In my mortal years, I doubt I could even approach the wisdom of the air. But of one thing am I absolutely certain. I would not be happier in ignorance. Oh, that's mommy. Now that is mommy. You stole a no. You mustn't. The That's most my mommy. lesson I've learned is that learning isn't simply passing one's eyes over words. Nay, <laughs> it is when understood for oneself that knowledge attains its true value. This is what has sustained me, driven me onward in joy and wonder, in anger and sorrow. The universe may end, and all may be for naught, but I will live as I always have. That's my mommy! That's my mommy! I will always seek out new knowledge, and no conclusion of yours, no matter how grim, can dampen my desire. my fucking mom I suppose it is only to be expected their feeble minds cannot fathom the terrifying gravity of are it are they gonna turn into a blackbird too but worry not we consider it our duty to enlighten you and we will not stop until you grasp the full extent of our despair Soon dissipate. There may be a way to restore it. Asm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't, for it would mean losing our way forward. This I only reveal so that you can promise not to invoke the magic. We came here knowing what victory may cost. 
So press on. Press on, and do not look back. How can you say that? I shall join thee. As subterfuge is not required, thou shalt not suffer for mine absence. Riange. My resolve hath never been as strong as thine. Full oft have I wavered in my decisions, and afterwards been stricken with regret. In spite of this, I may still stand with my comrades, supporting them as they attempt the greatest of feats. This truth I have learned in the course of our journey. And many though my shortcomings may be, I may also claim to excel in prophecies. My studies, into which have granted me the flexibility of mind needed to bend this malleable reality. Thus shall I hope that thou mayest have the strength to resist and our comrades the strength to continue. Oh my God, wait. With you to urge us on, how could we possibly fail? Oh. It's kind of aesthetic as fuck, though. Oh. Telling me you left me, my wife, and our kids? What's this? An extinguished civilization? Rekindled? That's right. Our quest doesn't end here. We'll press on, and we will find you. There. That's where you'll find me. And the dead star. Is that another star? Oh. Huh? Of the stars we visited, most were already devoid of life. And where there was life still, the inhabitants wished for death. But even death, we learned, isn't truly the end. It is but a part of the cycle of rebirth. Souls return to the star, or in its absence, a larger flow. And eventually they are reborn. Alive again. To know suffering anew. True salvation lies not in dying. It lies in not being born. Jesus! This is the gift I would give to you. To all life on beautiful Atheris. To that end, we created an egg wherein life cannot quicken. That dead son. Attain it if you can. Before your friend's emotions fade away. Along with their protection. And just like that, she's gone. This is so fucking crazy, but like, I love it. I love the themes. Like, I love how grim and yeah, how like nihilistic this is. Victory is, <laughs> what do these things say? Victory, 
something something lost it literally feels like every quest is just getting like aggressively harder to read oh my god it's literally my children and my mom my mom my wife i'm fine peppa like i said our quest doesn't end here never have i felt such emptiness Sipopotomy is gone victory I don't know what it says. Shout out, thank you for the five months. Oh, did I miss, did I miss any more alerts? Thank you for the hugs chat. Guards his comrades in silence and solemn silence. Oh my god. Victory sex. Me lost. Victory. Victory. Victory sex. Um. We lost? Victory, victory sucks. <laughs> victory sex me lost. Victory sex me, I don't know. <laughs> Are you all ready to continue on? And let us make for where that light shone. You still and Rianger have opened the way for us. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Ooh. We got some new fucking harmonies in the back. <laughs> hey, oh, no, get away from me. Yeah, victory sex. It's victory sex. Victory sex we lost. It seems like yesterday you were in heavens. Oh my God, Anna. It's like I said, you red hands are doing the vault. Oh, don't remind me of the vault, please. Do not remind me of the vault. <laughs> she victory on my sex until I lost! <laughs> please. Please. All right, the tube. The tube. Hello, Vo. Hold on, can I add you now? Do I have space? Yay! Some manner of air device. If our friends awakened it, then it should be safe for us to use. Judging by the direction, this should be the place. Yes, I can feel it. Ether emanating from the arcane pattern. This is the portal. No mistake. Let us see where it leads. <laughs> Travel through the portal, the portal of wisdom. Time for victory sex. No victory sex. Oh, is an enemy gonna spawn here? We're waiting, we're waiting. Oh, an ether current! Overflow level checker, overflow beta. Emanate. Slay mamas. No, don't touch me. I have things to, to get to. Wait. I'll continue waiting, but there's an ether current. I want it. I'm gonna forget. I want it. I'll come back. Hold on. Let me just get the ether current. Don't touch me. I say as I touch you. <laughs> I need to eat early today. Otherwise, it'll be there. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. You're here in spirit. <laughs> just like Bankrit and Ishtola. And Rionche. 
Anastasian! I swear to God, if I if I lose my wife, if I lose my kids, oh, I'm going to. I'm gonna lose Grahatia, and I'm gonna lose the twins, and it's gonna make me cry, and then they're gonna come back and help me defeat Medion, right? Or maybe they won't help me defeat Medion. Do I even have to? Do I, do I even fight Medion? Or do we just like shake hands and like part ways? Ooh, cramp. Wait. Hello, babies. Ow. <clears throat> Amazing. Yet another civilization. Attacked as soon as you arrived. Not the most welcome of places, is it? We must try to find denizens who are amenable to conversation. We should also get the lay of the land to see how far we can go. I'll help Alfie know with that. In the meantime, you and Graha can search for friendlier folk. <gasps> Me and my wife going on exploration together? Far from hostile beings, take care with your footing. I must like the look of this terrain. Not knowing what the locals are like, you'd best take care of yourselves. We'll find you once we've finished exploring. I can't believe I missed all of the Elpis part. I wanted to be there in the robes. Ha <laughs> it's okay. We had a few people with us. It was quite nice, actually. I have to upload the rest of my VODs uh, now that you mention it, um, Brett. Ha-cha-cha! -cha. Thank you for the 4 month resub. I expect the twins will seek the outermost bounds of the aisle, so I propose we search the central area. There are machines patrolling here and there. Sentinels in all likelihood. Like those you encounter, they will most certainly attack any who venture too close. So let us avoid them and look for others that appear more approachable. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna search over here. You see not but patrolling machines in the area. They do not seem inclined to nonviolent intercourse. Is that what it said? Intercourse? Nonviolent intercourse? Did it say intercourse? <laughs> Have I done the Omega raids? Um, I never finished them. I didn't really enjoy them. I'll get to them eventually. Mm. Guess I don't think I ever finished them. Wait, wrong things. Um, I did these. I haven't done 4.0 and onwards. Is, is, is it is it the delta escape it is right i know you didn't buy what is missing from your cutscenes. interesting get them eventually just like feisty little chocobo no so by doing delta escape i get more things in my cut Oh my god! <laughs> this is so fucking funny! Oh! I <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. Yeah, I don't, um... I don't... I don't... I didn't care for it. I didn't care for Alpha either. I thought it was kind of boring. And then one of my viewers would not, like, he's not my viewer anymore, but like, he would not shut the fuck up about content that I missed. And it's like, I don't even want to do it now. Like, I don't even want to do them. I mean, I will, I obviously will, but it's like, like, do not harass a viewer because at that point it's harassment. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's one thing to be like, hey, I suggest doing these because it's integral to the story. But then there's, like, harassing them 24-7 and belittling them if they don't do something. Bro, I'm right here. Bro, you do not want me to name drop that person because you know exactly who I'm talking about. It's like, shut the fuck up. Like, I'll do it when I'm ready. 
Nothing makes someone less aside to con and harass them. Do it exactly. And so I'm not even kidding. Out of spite, out of spite, the ones that I did do, like the the few uh, Omega rays that I did do, I skipped the cutscenes. I was like, fuck it, I'll read about it. Like I don't care. I've lost all interest because first of all. The cutscenes aren't even voice acted, and y'all know how I am. It's very hard for me to read, let alone out loud. So like, I already have a hard time following along, and now you're you're hounding me to do them on stream. So I just I never finish them. I just never finish them. The thing that ruins FF14 for people is when friends such other people try to force them to play their way. Yes. Literally, literally, like I would, I would rather like, like don't get me wrong, I love this game, and I will always like follow follow my friends like that play it the same way that y'all follow me. Oh my god, are there more? But that being said, like. <laughs> My little twist. <laughs> um, just if someone doesn't care for certain content in the game, they don't have to do it. Don't force them. You know, cutscenes even the things I skip. Yo, mood. So I never spam you about shit, dentist. Were you not the one who was just making me show everybody what you got me? Yeah, backseat gaming is really fucking annoying. And I think, like, that's the problem. People think backseat gaming is just telling people, like, oh, this is how you complete it. This is how you do this. This is how you do that. Like, no, backseat gaming is simply just telling somebody what to do. It's also spoiling things. Like, anything that ruins someone's experience is just, it's backseating. I will say, yeah, the FF community is very pushy, and that's the only thing that I don't like about it. Sometimes I just, I look away. I look away. Like, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do, you know? It's also why, like, whenever there's content in the game, I try my best um, to run them with my friends instead of viewers. Like, I love playing with y'all. You know that. Don't get me wrong. Um, but if possible, I have my little static of of friends that I, I play with whenever I can to do uh, story content. Because I know I, I, I can rely on them to not be like, oh, by the way, oh, by the way. <gasps> oh my god, thank you for the one bit. I appreciate it. Not me being new to the stream and only now realizing you're on Goblin. I'm Goblin these nuts, baby. We Crystal Goblin just like my Sableye. Yeah, that's when you just start taking the L stances. Like, just make people cringe. Wait, take what stances? Wait, wait, what? I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> the victory lost Goblin nuts. Save life, best woman, let's go. Yes! Oh my god, you get me! You get me! Best Pokemon Crystal Goblin on Crystal Goblin. Mmm. I was hoping backseating streamers would have died down in two years since Endwalker, but I guess not. No. And this is no shade, but people are too in love with Endwalker. I'm sorry. I love FF14. I really do. I am not shitting on it, and I'm not shitting on the community. But people do love this game too much. To the point where the love is obnoxiously frustrating. You know? Like, okay, I get it. Can I play now? <laughs> I get it. Can I, can I do the thing now? But in fairness, I would rather interact with people who uplift the game than, um, than ag like aggressively play it while hating it. Do you know what I mean? To the point where someone gets a page about you playing while you're playing with your dog to settle them. Oh my god, could you imagine? Could you imagine me playing with my dog because he wants my attention? 
Part of the problem is people chase that copium high in reaction of streamers. Yeah. No, that's that's actually a really good point, Ray. They're always looking for those like grand, huge reactions, and then when they don't get them, they're like, oh. That's like, I don't know how to tell y'all this, but everyone's gonna react differently. And y'all saying, oh my god, this part, oh my god, this ruins that. And I'm gonna be honest. Do you know how many times I've accidentally looked at chat and have seen like messages before mods have even deleted them and I have to pretend that I never saw them? And like, I'm an idiot, so I don't know what's even coming. And I kind of like, I mean, you guys watch my stream. Like, I talk out what I think is gonna happen. So nothing, like, really surprises me. But, like, I don't need... Streamers do not want you to excite us. Just sit there. You know? Just sit there. Just watch. Wait for it to happen! I've seen a few streamers quit playing or streaming it at least because of how mad people got for giving the wrong reaction. Really? That's sad. Fucking going, oh, this scene drives me up the wall. Yeah, I really don't like that. I don't like it unless I already know. Does that make sense? Like, if, I, if something is already happening... And I'm watching it happen, and then y'all go, oh, fuck, it's this? That's fine. Because I'm watching it happen. But before that happens, that ruins it. Because here's the thing. It ruins it for chat, too. Not everyone who watches my stream is going to play this game or focus on the MSQ. There are some people who are literally, and I know this because they fucking said it. There are people who watch my streams because they have no intention of playing this game, but they want to watch me play it. And so when people in chat say things like, oh, this part, oh, this, oh, that, not only are you ruining it for me, you're ruining it for the people in chat. Yeah, no. It's awful. It's really frustrating. The other streamer I mod for got a lot of people giving her shit because she didn't burst into tears and act up during the vanilla walk scene. Really? Jeez. I remember... I'm gonna butcher this because I don't remember it fully. But... Um, I remember I was talking about Endwalker... And some and I asked a question and someone was like, um, you already know that. Like, didn't you play Shadowbringers? Like, lol. Like, are you not paying attention? Like, you knew this. It's like, um. I'm also a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm also a fucking idiot. <laughs> like. <laughs> uh so annoying. I love how the mods are like, hmm. <laughs> Maybe I forgot. Also, chat, like, for context, I started Endwalker in April. I didn't play this game again until, like, a month or two ago. I finished Shadowbringers at the beginning of the year and started it last year. You think I'ma remember everything? <laughs> Dick energy. Actually, it was somebody else, right? I have the I don't know. <laughs> it's saved on my phone. It's so good. It's literally so fucking good. I don't know anything. <laughs> Pepper, not the brightest, but she tried, and that's what's important. That's what's important. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my legs are killing me from sitting all funky. I barely remember what happened in the previous patch when I play new content. Yo, I don't even remember what happened in the last stream. I don't even remember what happened in Elpis. I don't remember anything. 
Pepper Tank, so she's been getting blows to the head. Of course she doesn't remember last week. See, thank you. Someone gets me. Someone gets me. <laughs> Ligma, true. I have that happen a lot more now that I'm caught up and experiencing the story slowly with the patches rather than doing it all at once. I've forgotten a lot more and had to refresh myself. Yeah, I don't remember anything. Like, I don't remember anything in Stormblood. Like, I know there was, like, a liberation and that's it. I don't remember a Realm Reborn. I don't remember... I mean, I do remember a bit of Heaven's Ward. I don't even remember Shadowbringers. Like, I don't know what happened. I remember it as it comes up in game. You know what I mean? Like, if you asked me what happened, I'd be like, oh. Uh... Mm. I've entered a sanctuary. Oh, can I? I can attune! Oh, we've made it to base Omicron. Oh, this is the last place I can attune in the game. <gasps> or not in the game, but in this area. Attune! So I remember his husbands and wives? True. Very true. Okay, but this is also giving me... This is giving me o Omega vibes. <laughs> Delta escape vibes. Look, Pepper. The machines here do not appear hostile. Let's see if we can communicate with them. Can I fuck them? Begging your pardon, but we are such of the denizens of the star. Bzz. Unknown life forms detected. Assigning generic label. Interplanetary travelers. Okay, like, did I just get spoiled? <laughs> I'm sorry, did I just get... Did, after the fucking conversation that we just had, chat, did I just get spoiled? Are you gonna have room in your party? It's cool if not. For what?! I'm sorry, but you're beautiful. It's okay. I'm sorry, too. Like, did I? Like, we just fucking spoke about spoilers. And if that is even meant to be a joke, it's just not funny. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. And that's what's frustrating me. Party for what? I mean, I did assume something would come up. I have to fight Medion. I'm assuming there is going to be a trial coming up. But, like... It's always a party in chat. You're right. You're right. A little party? Sorry. Um, I don't throw parties. I'm a good girl. I never throw parties. Don't look at the photos from Offworld from Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want Taco Bell. Mm. Oh, wait, now I'm hungry. Oh, now I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Anyways, greetings and welcome to the planet. Blip, bloop. The planet? What? What? Could you repeat that, please? It appears your hearing organ is unable to process the name in our tongue. It may be translated into yours as Alphatron. Who the fuck named this? Our people, meanwhile, are called the Omicrons. And you stand within one of our outposts. The Omicrons, you say? And what is it that you do here? We are preparing for war. <gasps> I'll gasp. <gasps> Jacko! I just, sorry, I just saw Jacko in the background. <laughs> I can vouch Sire was an honorable. All she was brewing the corner culture. As soon as it's true, I actually did. <laughs> As we presently do not have a designated target, you have nothing to fear. Should your star become designated, however, you will be taken in you'll be taken into custody and or terminated. And or terminated. <laughs> not a little frightening. Oh shit, it's cropped. <laughs> not a little frightening, these Omicrons, but at least they seem to be forthright. I will see what else I can learn from this fellow. If you could try speaking with the others. All right, let me go speak with Noose. <laughs> Hello, Noose. Bloop bloop. Autonomous weapon deployment complete. Vanguard armament upgrade complete. Munition levels satisfactory. Combat readiness assessment nominal. Awaiting instructions from Sir. Sir? Sir? Maintaining a state of combat readiness. Thanks, Noose. Um, Moon. Reading. 
traveler. When venturing outside the outpost, beware malfunctioning units. They do not heed Sturr's commands and indiscriminately attack all non-Omicrons. For the avoidance of confusion, be advised that Sir is the alias of Stigma One. <laughs> Ligma One. Sir issues instructions to our forces as the foremost of the six strategic that bear the designation that does designate in his name. Uh, Newt Vitri, Newt Vitter, measuring combat capability, result negligible, subject falls outside targeting parameters. Greetings, traveler. We are the Omicrons, and our objective is self-enhancement. In order to achieve this, we venture forth in conquest to acquire combat data and resources. Most recently, we succeeded in soft <laughs> Wait. We succeeded in subjugating the home world of the beings whose strength was said to be without parallel, the dragons. Yet though the endeavor yielded a wealth of combat data, the star was rendered barren and unable to yield resources. As subsequent costing determined, the losses incurred exceeded the gains. Nice. Cool. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, friends. Oi. Oi. You learned a few things. So did I. If we find our findings. If we, if we share our findings, however, I believe it best to step outside that post. Come with me. Okay. Beep, boop, boop. Ah, there you are. We finished surveying the area. This will come as no surprise, but there was no way forward. There were portals like the one we used to get here, but those that worked only sent us to isolated aisles. And as before, we must locate the embodiment of the emotion that bars the way. And what of yourselves? Did you find anyone to speak with? So the Omicrons seek to advance themselves through conquest. Colonizers! Following the victory of the dragons, they sound ready for the... Oh, that's what they meant. Um, anyways, but the leader has yet to issue the new commands, and so they wait. In such a place, who could it be that fits Rianger's description? A soul whose yearning for oblivion surpasses all others. Rianger said this. During our investigation, before we joined you in Allegaia. <laughs> so that's the way of it. Why couldn't you just say it all? To, uh, say it to all of us. Given what we know of this place, it's certainly a curious state of affairs. While the dragons and the air longed for death, the Omicrons longed for conflict. As much as that may lead to destruction, it must be considered a distinct desire. In order to find the source of the dominant emotion, <laughs> I believe we should seek out the leader, the Sir. <laughs> According to Mutritu, <laughs> the first Omicron with whom we spoke, there's a console by which we might communicate with her. <gasps> Mutritu also added that it would be a pointless exercise, but that in itself, I believe, is worth investigating. What say you? Eh. <laughs> All right. I can't believe we're in the level 90 quest. Like, I can't believe we've made it. Um, help, no sound, hell, no sound, hell, no sound. Help. Hi, no, hi, no sound. Hi, not sound. Hey, not sound. Hey, no found. Hey, not found. Help, not help, not found. No, that's kind of sad. Wait, there's something here. Inquisitive Omicron. 
I can do a quest for you. Ooh, learn to love. The inquisitive Omicron is eager to understand a certain phenomenon. Oh, he wants to find love. Well, you know, some of us do use robotic creatures to help us achieve things similar to love. <laughs> uh, Grahati is ready to set forth. I think it's help, not found. I think. I love this, but I'm sad. <laughs> so the console we seek lies on the far side of the aisle. Given the nature of the ground, the route may not be entirely direct as it seems. Let's watch. Let's all watch our step as we make our way. That was the wrong sound cue. <laughs> Lipsy. All right, we're going this way. No, get away from me. Do not touch me. Oi. All right. I see an ether current. Protect me! Protect me! Do not let them touch me! I have to attune! I have to attune! I have to attune! Yes! Thank you. Thank you. My loyal brethren, thank you. <laughs> How do you even pronounce that quest name? I think it's help not found. Or hell not found. Or hell no sound. I don't know. Help not found seems about right. <laughs> Are these sex robots bothering you, man? <laughs> oh, it's a Weston! Hello, Wes. Oh, we made a stigma one. That's supposed to be the console. But it seems unresponsive. Do you gotta take a look at it? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Why do you want me to do it? I'm touching the ball. Nice. You try touching, smacking, and attuning with the console, but there is no response. No luck, I see. There must be a way to activate it. There must. Mmm. I'm out of ideas. Oh. As am I. Operating such consoles is trying enough. But if we can't even activate it... Perhaps there is a way. Oh, the Al acknowledge. First, consider the world that has been recreated here. Its inhabitants were machines who gathered combat data to enhance themselves. And among the many wars they waged, the most notable was that against the dragons. The significance of these details may be lost on you now, but they lead me to believe this was the home world of Omega. Bro, I ain't even fucking played that Delta Escape shit, and even I said, hmm, this reminds me of Omega. Oh my god, my pussy is just on fire. Not because I have a UTI, it's just because I'm literally the best. According to the records I read in the future, it possessed a single weakness. Lightning. That's Sid. all well and good, but what does that... Wait. You're not thinking to strike the console with lightning, are you? Huh. As a matter of fact, I am. Ask yourselves this. Why would an entity as puissant as Omega not be designed to suppress the effects of lightning? Because it relies upon it, or something akin to it, as a source of energy. My thoughts exactly. And there is a good chance the same is true of the Omicrons and their devices. So, shall I cast caution to the wind and try something reckless and dramatic? You know I love you. <laughs> I'm not sure this is a good idea, babes. Worry not, I will be careful. And if it fails, we can think of something else. Okay. Okay. Girl, that did not look like lightning. 
It looked like dark magic. It worked. Slay. That is an eyeball. Yo, whose dummy daddy is this? Yes, sir. Wait, we have questions for you. Of late, no mission orders have been issued. Why not? Has there been some manner of trouble? Reply. The extended operations unit is yet to determine the highlights of future assignments. All strategies are calculated, devised, and actioned in accordance with said guidelines. In the interim, all citizens are directed to maintain a state of combat readiness. And reply. Awaiting quick. Can you tell us why the Extended Operations Unit hasn't yet determined the guidelines? Unable to comply. Information unavailable or access restricted. In that case, is it possible for us to communicate directly with the unit? Access denied. Unable to establish connection. Is there anything you can tell us? Have there been any abnormalities, like a, a threat to the star or widespread unrest? Reply. Negative. All citizens continue to operate at maximum efficiency. If your operations are suboptimal, please proceed to a maintenance facility for evaluation. Otherwise, stand by to a designated post. End reply. End transmission. Closing connection. I could activate it again, but I doubt it would be productive. What do you think? Me? If all the Omicrons really were running as efficiently as it claimed, then I doubt they were hoping for life here to end. As this sir told us, there just haven't been any new instructions, and everyone is standing by. Should be standing by at any rate. If there are those that are neglecting their duties, perhaps we can glean a clue from them. I propose we take another look around, and also no! try to find the operations unit. like this sci-fi bullshit <laughs> oh i forgot i had a nice view of his dumpy oh god <laughs> i do not like sci-fi stuff in my fantasy games but like that's okay i like i like high fantasy gothic and like medieval fantasy but not steampunk and sci-fi and futuristic stuff. Not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. Hello, Chan. Let us focus our search on the outpost. Liza and I will try speaking with the Omicrons this time in the hopes we might learn something new. Meanwhile, perhaps you and Graha could observe them from a distance. These beings are systematic and routine by nature. If there are any that aren't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too difficult to spot them. If there are no questions, then let us begin at once. As we came this way, I believe I spied a promising vantage point. Follow me. Do you want to make out there? Like, would now be a bad time to, like, make out with Grahatia? I think now's a great time. I had to not fall asleep. I'm not late. Hello, Sid. What's up? Final Fantasy 13 fan here, and I, I too feel called out. Wait, why do why do y'all feel called, called out? Wait, what did I do? Is it because I don't like tech? 
Never a bad time. Thank you. Oh, I gotta search. I gotta, I gotta look. Um. Wait, what am I looking for? Find Omicron behaving suspiciously. Blip bloop. Is it you? The Omicron wanders about ceaselessly, as if lacking clear objective. Oh. That was incredibly easy. <laughs> she go, eh! She say, eh! Down one! <laughs> and I'm kind of wandering aimlessly. Where? Over there! Uh, it's kind of hot. Aha! I see it. It's kind of hot. Oh, he's scratching his head! <laughs> like spooky ass sinister music <laughs> it's left the base let's follow it i know first try i didn't even think that was the one i just saw one that said blip bloop and i'm like that's it i'm just so good at this game chat i'm a professional final fantasy 14 player okay don't let others tell you otherwise i would never lie to you chat I wish I went to the actual con so I could buy so I could buy stuff. I love going shopping at cons. Oh hello! Is this a new crab friend that has come to join us? Hello, crab friend. Join our join our, our group. Our army. Our Pausi. Slay. And now my friend list is full again. <laughs> It's not here, but it definitely came this way. It must have used the portal. Time to go through and see what we find. Alright. Going through the portal now. Should we be back in Toronto potentially in 2025? Or I could just go on Etsy and buy things. I don't need to go to a con for that. <laughs> I also don't think I will ever go back to KupoCon. It was fun, but I'm not a fan of how it was run at all. Unfortunately. Oh, we found Moonv. Moonvi. Oh, this is pretty. I think. Great seeing friends, though. Exactly. That's kind of it. And I don't need to pay money or sub to Patreon, which I need to fucking unsub from just to see friends. What is your query? Come on, cat boy. Ah, you found it. What are you doing here? Oh my god, sorry chat. I am looking at the tree. Quite an unusual specimen. What is the device attached to it? The tree is a sample collected from another star. It, as it cannot survive in our environment, however, it requires life support. That is the function of the device. To go to such lengths to sustain it. Is there something special about this tree? Being foreign matter, protocol requires that we study it. As this task has been completed, the specimen may be discarded. However, when I behold the tree, I am made to feel as though there is a problem. In order to become strong, we have continued to enhance ourselves. Like we did countless others, we conquered the star whence this tree came. It is the last remnant of a dead world, and there is nothing towards which it may aspire. 
Yet it grows, extends its branches, sprouts leaves, produces seeds. Why does it seek to continue? Oh. There ain't no way. Moon V and this damn tree gonna make me cry? Why was it made to behave in such a way? And to what end? I do not understand. There is no way. I see. Out of curiosity, does this pertain to your duty? He's sentient. No, it does not. My apologies. I shall return to my designated post and assume a state of combat readiness. So I was acting outside of orders. Perhaps it is simply a malfunctioning Omicron. These are by no means uncommon. Uncomicron? <laughs> but it may also be a unit possessed of the ability to make decisions. One not unlike Sir. I believe this bears further investigation. To endeavor to live, even if we must depend on forces beyond our control. I see a motto. Oh, not the sad music. Not the sad music. Tell me, Pepper. One day, when this adventure becomes a part of your epic, do you think I'll be mentioned in it? Oh, of, of course! Wait, of course! Why wouldn't he be? Are you fucked? Literally what I just said! Literally what I just said! Of course! Why wouldn't you be? Literally! You truly think so? That would be a... I shouldn't say such things until the moment comes to pass. Never mind the embarrassment. <laughs> well, we had best get on with our task. Tracking down sir and understanding the nature of the emotion which bars our way. Damn. Damn, Ponto, thank you for the raid. Hello, friends. My name is Syra. I'm a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. And this game is killing me. This game is killing me. Ink, Ink Booba, thank you for the four month resub. I appreciate it. Uh, and Caitlin, Caitlin, are you still here? Thank you as well for the three month resub. Oh man, this game is, wow. I'm at question mark, question mark, question mark. I am nervous. I, I want to keep streaming, but I will be completely blunt shot. I am actually getting quite tired. I am getting quite tired. I think I might be okay to, to play a little bit more, but I've been live for six hours so far somehow. I didn't even realize it was 1 a.m. I thought it was still like midnight or something. Um, I'll push. I'll try. I'll see what we can do. Hello world! Yo, we're back in English! God, he is ready to take the next step. Oh man. We should return to the outpost for now. The others will wish to hear about the errant Omicron. Oh boy. Alright, we go in. Oh hello. We go in. Oh man. Alright, let's just TP. Ah, oh, am I Eastern? I am. I love how y'all use the Chad emote, but do y'all know that we have a Syra Chad emote too? There's literally a Pepper Chad emote. I don't actually, I don't know if it's if it's a, if it's like sublocked by a tier, but we have one. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. Um, okay, where are we going this way? I'm right, gonna go speak with Alize. I'll go, I'll go for as long as I can. My legs are starting to hurt, which is my, my biggest problem. But we'll see. Groha says he found a suspicious Omicron. That's good, because the units here will have no help. 
They all had the same thing to say about the extended operations unit, that there's no way to arrange direct meeting. Still, that served to prove that it's business as usual at the outpost. But enough about us. Tell me you learned something more useful. I know I'm trying to make sense of the meaning of life. None of the others were even a fraction as philosophical. Oh my god, everyone, everything comes back to the why are, why, why are we alive or like, what does it mean to live or whatever question. No, I'm saying. This unit may well be in a position of leadership. Perhaps even one of those that comprise Sir. As we know, the Omicrons invade other stars and enhance themselves using the spoils of conquest. The technology at their disposal, they should be able to alter their bodies, be it in part or in whole. OMG, you're an Eastern streamer that's rare. I'm definitely gonna watch as much as I can. I appreciate that shock of ages. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Setting aside the question of motive, if Sir, for example, wished to have an ordinary Omicron's body, there's no reason why it would not be possible. The problem is how to go about ascertaining if that's what happened. When I attempted to probe further, it promptly ended the conversation. If it is indeed Sir, I doubt it would willingly reveal its true identity. Can have our eureka moment or something here? What's going on? Oh, uh huh. I have an idea. We use lightning on the console again. We'll make it stronger. Much stronger. At that moment, should the unit exhibit a reaction that could suggest that it has a connection to Sir. Ooh. An inspired idea. I dare say it is worth a try. I had a feeling you'd be on board. This time, you must allow me to do the honors. <gasps> My baby. Good night, CJ. I will send guard in case the incantation draws sentries to the scene. For my part then, I will approach our suspect and divert its attention. During which time, Pepper, I want you to observe it closely for anomalous behavior. Oh. I should mention that shortly before you returned, an Omicron appeared from that same direction. Rather than entering the outpost, however, it headed off towards the console. First, I assumed it was a Union Patrol, but perhaps... This is the one we spoke with. That could only be our errand, Omicron. We must seek it out and begin operation at once. Alright, Alfino and I will stand by at the console. When it's time, I'll unleash a veritable storm. Slay. This will work, I'm sure of it. After all, the comrades are watching over us. <laughs> Come, my friend. Let us find this, this doubt-plagued Omicron. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's gonna come out of this. Like, truly, like I said, I, this is the one part of this game where I don't actually know what's gonna happen, and I think that's for the best, honestly. You were the one that was observing this tree, are you not? Oh, glad am I. Well, glad I am to find you again. I have a question for you, you see. About the device which sustains the tree. One second, chat. Be right back.
hello, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Isaac called. And I was just like, oh, is he okay? Because I, I was chatting with him earlier and I didn't hear from him. So I was like, oh fuck, what's going on? <laughs> but every, everything's okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything's fine. We keep going, we go, we go. We'll come back. Dinko, dinko, dinko. Dinko, dinko, dinko. I love that boy. Love that boy. See, this is what I like to see. When my going live tweets have over a thousand fucking likes. I feel like I should have set up six silly better when you came back. Hey, I appreciate the the thought. <laughs> Riot does not necessitate the disclosure. Oh, fuck, what were we talking about? Shit. Riot does not necessitate the disclosure of restricted information. Very well. Graha has begun distracting the Omicron. Soon, Alize will strike the console with lightning. Observe uh, Moon V closely for anomalous behavior after Alize's cast or spell. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello. Oh, is, is Identify an anomaly in in Moo in Moon V when it manifests. Okay. Is something gonna manifest right here? Oh that what I have to rub? <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> and anomaly, you say? <laughs> Performing diagnostic. Error confirmed. My connection to central command is suffering from intermittent failures. I must leave at once and present myself for maintenance of the nearest facility. You will excuse me. No, I won't, bitch! What you need, my friend, is a maintenance. It is to confront the truth. Oh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna fucking start saying that. I'm actually gonna fucking start saying that. You don't need maintenance. <laughs> How we spoke, our comrade struck the console and used to communicate with Sir. That is the cause of your anomaly. You are connected to Sir, aren't you? That's his bottom. Affirmative. <laughs> to what end you sought to assert this fact, I do not know. But before we further, we God. But before we speak further, we must move away from the other units. Chat, riddle me this: If you had the chance to fuck a robot, would you? There's no riddle there. I just, it's a simple, simple question. Wow. Wow. That, wow. <laughs> wow. Chat, you, you're quick with that, huh? <laughs> this robot too pointy, but. Not the first time chat say no score gum literally no. <laughs> Look. Robot lover, show me how and I shall plow. No. No, hold the phone.
Yo, Tubi? Okay, chat. Will y'all be here for when I play Nier? I've never played Nier. I've never played a single Nier game. But I've heard that they're very, very good. And I would love to dive into the series at some point. Near cosplay when? I'd love to cosplay 2B. I don't have the ass for it or the thighs. But I would love, nonetheless, to cosplay near. Or like cosplay Pepper cosplaying near. You know what I mean? Like. Well, <laughs> not with that attitude. Thank you. There are so many really, really good games out there that I've never given a chance. Um, like, I haven't really played Assassin's Creed. I haven't played Nier. There's just, there's so many. And it all just comes down to my attention span and the nuances in games that I am both into and also not into. You know what I mean? Little Captain. Pepper 2B? I, I could. I should do Pepper 2B. So maybe I'll get into Nier through your streams. Hey, maybe, Dentist. I've never played Devil May Cry. Metal Gear. Actually, no. I've tried Metal Gear Solid. And it was actually a boss battle that I did that was a lot of fun. But, um. Yeah, I've never played Metal Gear. Um. There's a ton of games that I want to play on stream, for sure. And. I think one of these days, um. I'll do, like, a bigger poll for y'all. And we can pick the next games that I play. I do need to play more of the Final Fantasy games, but I will be completely frank. I don't know if I want to play all of them. Um, if it's if there's an FF game that's very sci-fi-esque, I don't think I want to play it. I'm not going to play Cyberpunk. I, I don't like I don't like that genre. I will never enjoy it. Have you played Witcher 3? I have. I would love to return to the Witcher series. Anyways. I do not wish for them to know my true identity. Very well. Our friends are at the console. Let us head there. Alright, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Toss your bids to your Twitcher. I'm waiting. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. A bit after midnight. Hello, friends. So, friendly reminder, chat, we do not have a pop-up for it yet, but I am looking to uh, get some PP. We are trying to hit the part, or complete the Partner Plus program bullshit. Um, and to do so, we need 350 sub points every month for three months. And gifted subs do not count, and prime subs do not count. So, <laughs> Nisa, thank you for the 100 bitties. You heard what I said? I said, get some pee pee. We're trying to get that pee pee, baby. Thank you for the 1,000 bit sentence. Yes. I'm sorry, I don't have the alerts on right now today because I don't want it to interrupt MSQ, but yes. Um, but yeah, we are trying to hit that pee pee. I know gifted subs don't count and it really, really sucks. Um, so if anyone is a sub and wants to convert their sub to a tier two or tier three, doing so um, boosts your sub score by like two or five points. So tier three is six points and tier two is two, I believe. And tier one is one. So every little bit counts. And yeah, I really wish, yeah, exactly. I need 350 unique subs that aren't gifted for 90 days and also are not prime subs. So it needs to be from your own wallet. Exactly. We need the organic grass-fed free-range subs. It's really, it's really frustrating and it really, really sucks. Um, and it's because they don't want to give, yeah, like what Nissan said, they don't want to have to give 70, the 70-30 split to everybody out there. Um, but I am pushing to stream full-time again. I'm going to be cutting back on a lot of my zestier content. Uh, don't worry, still gonna be hot on the internet, but not as much as I was before, and that is unfortunately gonna take a huge chunk out of my wallet. Um, and with my townhouse coming up and all of this bullshit that I spoke about earlier in the Discord server, it's very important that we that we push for this and that we 
I think discount of multi month subs later in December or just gifted subs. I don't know if the discounts count. You are my wife. Thank you. Are you my wife? Yes, I am, Zara. Um, I don't know if um, if discounted subs count. I would assume so. But yes, you could also extend your sub. So if you're currently a sub, you can extend it to three months and that will count and it will follow through, which is pretty lit. So you can extend your sub and you can upgrade your sub and yeah. So I think what we're gonna do too is normally I, I, tr I try to hit some sub goals. It's purely subs day. Um, usually I try to do sub goals, but I think what we're gonna do um, once I, Wait, did I say they do? They don't. Anyways. Um, I'm going to try to... Because we already hit it, We already hit the, the emote slot. The 1,000 sub emote slot. So I'm going to try to push away from sub goals. And try to just like manually track my sub points if I can. Um, and have that as our little um, push this, uh, this month. As much as I love gifted subs, I think I think supporting me through like donations and bits might be the way to go. Because if you gift a sub to somebody who is able to sub with their credit card, I lose that sub point. And that, I think, sucks. Unless they can convert the sub. I don't know how that works. You know how close you are? Well, for this month so far, we only have like 26. I'm sure that's gone up, but... It's a, it's a very small number right now. We may have a ton of subs, but a lot of those are gifted. Converted subs are a thing. Oh my God, slay. Okay, if you were gifted, then convert that shit, baby, if you can. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna sit down with my mods and we're gonna come up with a, with a, with a strategic plan and we're gonna come up with some copy pastas and commands in the chat. I'm a little bit tired, so none of this is coming out as eloquent as it did earlier today, but mm, 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 we're gonna figure it out. Mm, mm. Ew. I just saw something really gross on my on my feed. Hold on, I have to send it to my mods. Time for the age of donuts, Tentus. So did you plan I'm fucking down? Yeah, we'll sit in voice chat and we'll figure it all out. No, they have the tracker for me, um, but I'm not gonna reopen it. This month we're at 26, or we were at 26 when I last looked. I'm telling my church to get a 10.3 year strategic plan. <laughs> See, this is why you're modded. This is like one of my favorite streams to lurk on, so I'll sub once my gifted sub ends. Apparently, Bacon, according to Ponto, you can actually convert that, that gifted sub into a normie sub. I didn't realize that was actually a thing that would count, so. Not telling people how to support stream, it's just math. If you could do five good subs and it helps partner plus more to upgrade your sub to tier three because tier three is six points. Yes? Oh, true! Oh, true! Instead of gifting subs, just upgrade to a tier three. Oh, I see what you're saying. It took me a second. It took me a second to understand what the hell you were saying. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, Devil's Eyes, for the thousand biddies. Y'all are cute. Y'all actually giving me biddies. Thank you. I'm so sorry that alerts are off. Whenever we play MSQ, I don't have them on because I don't want alerts interfering with um, the stream. I've done story games where people would spoil it for me in an alert and it's not fun. So all of that is turned off. That way it doesn't interfere with my experience. But don't worry. I'm so sorry. I see them. If you want to chat about PP, let me know. But I will chat with you about PP. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration. I don't have any Agua on me, unfortunately, but that's all right. All right, let's talk with Moon Moonvi. Oh, this looks voiced. As you have summarized, 
Oh. Moon V is a she. See those hips? <laughs> Kind of want to fuck him. These robots are kind of hot. Like I can't lie, they're kind of hot. May we ask why you did this? Is that wrong of me to say? From what we gather, it seems to be a personal matter. You were malfunctioning. Me. I performed numerous full system scans, each time finding no issues. Yet the error persisted. It was then that I speculated. What could happen if we grew so powerful as to have no equal? essential to our existence. Our every action has been in service to this objective. But if nothing lies beyond this, can it be truly said that it was essential? Have we been engaging only in wanton destruction? Oh my god, she grinded her hips wantonly. <laughs> you could find uh. no threat to justify your purpose. Did I just see Bilbo? I'm not number one in donations, so looks like I have to fix that. There's no way dentist just donated $300. No, no, no. I replayed it so we could see it. Oh my god. Dentist, you did not sneak away with that. I saw Bilbo Baggins in the corner of my eye. Oh my god. Dentist! <laughs> did 
Did you donate that through PayPal or credit card? I have to ask very quickly. Tend to do the good for all those broke bitches. Dentist, thank you so much. PayPal, why? Okay, fuck. Okay, I, I fuck shit. Okay, I have to... I've got to remove that from tipping methods. But I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait till that processes. No, I, I thought I removed um, PayPal. I hate PayPal, that's why. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Thank you so much for the $300 dono. What the fuck, dentist? You're sick! You are sick! And all of our top biddies are a thousand right now. Everyone's tied. Thank you so much for the, for the $300 donation. I'm like... Seriously, thank you. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. That came out of the blue. That came out of nowhere. <sighs> thank you. Thank you so much. Truly. Truly. Fuck. It is not our place to pass judgment on the deeds of the Omicrons. But surely, back to this, sad this does not have to spell the end of your people. With your power and knowledge, the possibilities are endless. Why not seek out a new purpose? That is impossible. In the beginning, we have a higher purpose than that of future power. But we must fight it when we so irrevocably altered our fundamental forms. This is so deep, we cast aside our flesh, so too did we cast aside all that defined us. Nothing remains of who we once were. I have no aspirations. No longer can I dream. The vital spark is lost. This feels so real. This Lost feels like this is some Elon Musk shit. Oh. I believe I know how to overcome this despair. My the wife. words are ready in my mind, but ere I speak them. I want you to make me a promise. What? Be it across time or space, our promises have always connected us. And so I ask that you indulge me once more, that this won't be the end.
Forcing you through this again is the last thing I want, and I'm sorry. But we've never broken a promise to each other. So I ask that you have faith in us, and hear my request. First, I want to visit Ishgard with you. <laughs> we scarcely had time to look around last time. I should like it very much if you could show me the sight. <laughs> Next, you must regale me with your greatest adventures in the places where you lived them if possible. I may have read about all your deeds, but there is no substitute for a first hand account. And last but not least, a new adventure together, unlike any we've experienced before. We'll travel the lands, cross the seas, and take to the skies upon the eternal wind. And it will be marvelous. It will. Is he trying to dab me up? He's trying to give me props? <laughs> If you would humor me a moment, when we awaken, you, can you, how can we prove that we're the same individual who retired the night before? Through the remembrance of past events, we might say, we have our memories, yet there are times when we forget or recall incorrectly. What of our bodies, then? It is the same one, we might say, yet technically speaking, as living beings, our bodies are constantly changing. It will never be as it was at an earlier point in time. Our souls are no more immutable. On our star, people are known to inherit the souls of others. Yet they are decidedly different beings. For my part, I've subjected my totality to much and more. I've made my body into an extension of a tower, blended my soul and memories with those of another self. And each time I would ask myself, what is it that makes me, me? <laughs> no, but that doesn't mean I'm confused. It simply means I'm the same as everyone else. So I posit this. Who we were need not describe what we now hold in our hearts. Whatever came before, what matters most is the present. For me, that is being here with my friends, full proud of how much we've grown together. So I urge you to not give up. Heed your heart's desire, and hope that the future you long for shall be realized. I cannot read. We My eyes are burning! Oh my god! We are not unlike you and I. Oh. I too have struggled to find the courage to express uh. and embrace my wants. If you like, I will tell you a tale. A tale of a world on the brink. Of a people who never gave up on the future. Of a man who realized his grandest dreams and then awakened to a grander reality.
the song went with him. I was ready to fucking sing. You took that away from me. Like he's coming like <laughs> I can already see it like he's at prom and the girl that he likes is dancing with another guy and he's like Tiffany I thought you loved me and then she's like oh Zach I didn't think he would see this and he's like I'm done and he turns and he's just slowly walking out of prom and the doors fly open and then the sprinklers go off and then it starts raining and he's walking down the street. The cars are passing, but none are hitting him. Like, what is this? What is this? This is awful. <laughs> this is awful. This ruined it. This ruined the vibe. This ruined the vibe. I was sad. Look, I was sad, but Nah, listen, no. I was sad. But the moment Graha said that he wanted to visit Ishgard with me, it was over, chat. It was over. It was over. That was it. There was no point of return. Man. Cut deep. <laughs> what a vibe! We're at one oh five. Where did the four come from? one long one too or maybe two at the very least because I cried and then I stopped and then I cried again <laughs> I think it was just two at most because he made me sad and then he hit me with the ish card shit and then I was done <laughs> I'll take two I'll take two Oh, bitch, I wish. You were crying and then you cried. Exactly. I was sad. I was crying. And then I cried. <laughs> we finally have a Heaven's Ward competitor chat. 
But once again, that's the punchline, isn't it? It's Heaven's Ward that's making me cry still. I swear to God. Are we, did we make it? You'll leave so easily as if it's nothing. What do they think we feel? Next time we meet, I'll give him such a flick that that'll be just a stop. Crystalline path. Oh, I, I know my gum sock. I know he made, he made my little gum sock. My little gum sock made us a crystal path. Music's done. Nice. Oh, it's not done. It's still there. Bye. What is that? Okay, I'm going. Come sock, like, like, you know, when your sock gets all cummy and then it turns to rock, that was him. And if I just took his silly little hands and shadow bringers and I went like this, he would shatter like a little cum sock. That was my little cum sock. Crystal dildo. And now he's gone. Again. I miss the this, I miss, 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 miss the sadness of Alfino's countenance as you found determination. I'm stuck with my kids. I'm stuck with my children. My wife abandoned me with the kids. She went to get milk and smoke and so she's not coming back. I'm now a single mother. Oh, that Chris led path. I know. Difficult as it is, we must carry on for a present await us in vain. So come, let us seek the past beginning. It appears to be near the outpost. God, this song is awful. I feel like I'm in a Pixar movie. Okay, like I get it. <laughs> oh, no! Get rid of it! <laughs> You're gonna get a voice note for me to this whole song when you least expect it. Well, now I know what to ignore. It, do it does remind me of cheesy Christian. <laughs> Christian rock. Oh, oh no. Listen, as much as I want to end the stream, Jay, I can't. I can't. Acha, are you going to forge ahead with me? Are we forging?
I won't let it break me, don't you worry. I never have and I never will. Good, you gotta be strong for me. Look, Peppa, a portal has opened. Who shall I deliver us to? Must. Here we go. The portal's put the full of where the path begins and it ascends to dizzying heights. Let's make our way, one sure step at a time. Oh, he's following me. Oh my god, I'm not gonna get Ellie's in and follow me too. Oh my god, this is what I'm gonna do. Stars I see, shattered, ruptured, unraveled. I wonder if there are also worlds we created at the ends. Beside them fills me with a sorrow I cannot describe, and a truth I cannot, I cannot deny. What you say? Yeah, birth and death. Once we came and where we return, a wheel from which there's no escape. Oh, you're too young. You, you guys are too young to like hear this stuff and say this stuff, like. I'd heard this song is polarizing, but I never actually mentioned who didn't like it for it. Yeah, this song is awful. This is bad. <laughs> here, do y'all want me to read what they said over here? Here, I'll, I'll read them. Deckard would scout the road ahead. Ishtal and Uriange would trade opinions on est esoteric subjects. Graha would join the discussion, or else chat with me and Elise about the mission. The city would be at the rear, apart yet present. All the while you would come and go, wherever you were needed, and together we would travel. Oh my god, you know I'm sad because I'm not even doing the accent anymore. I'm not I'm not even a fucking prop anymore. I cried the accent out of me. Oh my god, shut up. All I can hear are my footfalls, my heartbeat. It's so much quieter now. But the fact we can breathe and continue on is proof that the others are still with us. They are. They are, aren't they? Chat, I need you to see this. I need you to see what I just tried doing. Chat. When we get closer, I'll turn it back on. I'm sorry, that this song is a fucking buzzkill for me. It's awful. It's 
Uh, truly a terrible. It's terrible. I. I. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you guys got your your little peeps. Oh, you got little peeps. Oh, who's this? Hello. I don't. I don't know if I have space to add you, but I can make it work. And so that walk is kind of a vibe. Yeah, I kind of fuck with it. I honestly kind of fuck with it. Because, like... Realistically, we would be hearing nothing. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Portal is barely visible from up here. Truly, we've come far. Much farther than would have been possible had we kept chasing perfect ideals as we did in the past. It's because we have known failure and frustration, that we have learned and grown from them, that Heidelin has entrusted us with this mission, with the fate of the very star. Oh, you're welcome, Dentist. It's all a dream, isn't it? A long, elaborate dream. Any moment now, I'll wake up in my bed, still a student. Grandfather alive, go about my day, leave as the fragments of that other life fade away. And that would be happiness, wouldn't it? But none of it, no. No, I won't give up those these experiences. Good and bad, they are mine. Oh, they are me. <sighs> Don't mind me. I'm just gonna screenshot that and keep it for myself really quick because that's that was really beautiful <laughs> damn <laughs> all right well let's end walk bitches it's gonna be a long walk, huh? <laughs> I know the writing in this game is like incredible. Unfortunately, that means I cry. Bam, are we all just slowly perusing? <laughs> This looks like the end of Pokemon Mystery just fucking me up. Yeah, man. <laughs> it has the same energy as um as red and um darkness, honestly. <sighs> me? Oh, I still have plenty of legs left in me. Don't you worry. It's you I'm worried about. You always push yourself so hard for us, for everyone. And while we're here, we'll make sure to bear our share of the burden. Oh. Rest assured, I am fine, but thank you for your concern. What of yourself? Though we can't afford to be too leisurely, neither need we rush unduly. We crossed an impossible distance to stand where we are now, and we've, we're but a few steps away from the journey's end. It'll be over before we know it. Uh -huh. If I have to lose them. Is the game gonna make me lose them? I don't know if I can if I could do that. Just yet. Are we at 104 or 105? I think we're at 105. I did cry. I did cry. I I know that. progress damn this long ass of one of those things good measure because you laugh cried from the burp and cried at your babies I didn't laugh cry at the burp I think I was just still crying <laughs> look at the pot
path ahead for you. Well, this is it. The end of the path and the beginning of whatever awaits. There'll be great hardships. You may be made to feel powerless. They come what may, let us have no regrets. No. Let us have pride in what we have yet we have achieved. And what we achieved and how it changed us for the better. That's worth fighting for and dying for. As <laughs> they did. There's some structures up ahead. Still a ways to go before we reach the dead sun. Given all this, I know how naive it must sound to hope it all works out somehow. Still, you'll forgive me if I wish for it all the same. And for you most of all. Not that you of all people need it. It's just after all the help you've given me. For once, I want to be the one to help you. It's honestly so funny seeing the differences between Alize and Alfino here. Um, like, Alize seems like she's stuck in her head. But is, like, so worried about me. And, like, that's her priority. Like, she's just, like almost like acceptance kind of and then Alf you know is like thinking of like the bigger picture and and those we've lost and whatever it's just they're two uh, two of the same beans but still two very different uh Corrigan thank you for the form of the reset I appreciate it oh man okay we're gonna speed walk babes let's go speed walk in oh my god oh my god oh we're, we're getting somewhere Oh, we're getting somewhere. Oh, we've made it somewhere. Yeah, I am going to turn it back up. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's a little too quiet. Oh, no, I turned it back up, but the song ended here. Well, <laughs> that, that works for me, too. This is almost... <clears throat> Owls? Tables? Is that a bar? Yeah, we turn it up? Normal. It's not unlike many cities we know. But it's deathly quiet. Mayhap the inhabitants are within the buildings, or were invisible to our senses. Smeteon? Wrong on both accounts. There's simply no one here. I don't fucking like that. Oh, I didn't like that either. Gosh, she's so scary. I love her. I want to beat her with a bat. This is how I found it when I arrived. Another star which once pulsed with life, but no longer. How it ended, I do not know. Invasion, sickness, suicide. None can say. None live to speak for the dead. They are gone. Gone. Search all you like, but you'll only end up turning back. Twitter, she's X now. <laughs> if there's no one here, then neither should there be emotion to bar away. Yet Meteon seems convinced we'll turn back. You think you've caught me? This form is barely a drop from the ocean that swells within the dead sun. Even so, I could easily unmake you. You are only still alive because of your comrades. But they cannot protect you forever. On 
until they fade away, I'll satisfy myself with watching you try and fail to find a way out of this lifeless place. She does remind me of Megan Davy. She really also, she, she does remind me of Megan. Oh my God, we still have Meg W. <laughs> I forgot about Meg W, holy fuck. If what Mutian says is true, what are we supposed to do? The next, the next one is question mark, question mark, question mark. You're not alone. Oh, am I gonna cry? Ooh, ether current. Eyes is discouraged. She betrays no hint of it. Whatever Meteon may have said, we should confirm it with our own eyes. We need to have a look around. Indeed. At the very least, it doesn't appear to be a sprawling place like those before. We split up, it shouldn't take too long to cover the area. Is she gonna give us the time to do that? Okay, explore the necropolis. Okay, I've already read that. Shut up. Oh, fuck. Okay, vantage point. We're surveying, surveying, surveying. Oh, you all having a drink over there? Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Perhaps we could try calling out. What will you say? Hello! <laughs> if anyone has heard you, they do not respond. Um, y'all gonna ignore me? Ooh, I have to go over there. Okay, I'm gonna save that for last then. I'm gonna go to the homies at the end. Hima, hima, hima. Okay, you're not alone. I have a bad feeling about this. Like, this is just gonna be sad. I'm gonna have a fucking flashback of all the homies, aren't I? Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're not for the thick layer of dust. One could imagine someone drinking from these cups, but moments ago. Oh, wait, these are huge. Are they. No. These aren't Asian height or <laughs> ancient height. The object resembles a tree and appears to have been fashioned from a stone like material. Erected in place of an actual tree or to serve some other purpose, perhaps. Regardless, there's no one left to explain. Let's tell the story. Oh, that's sad. No one left to tell the story. Mm, that's grim. I think that's like something that I love about like history in general. It's like, I'm not a history buff in any way. I'm, I'm, I don't know dog shit, but, um, or I don't know jack shit, but you know, history exists because people still talk and people still discovered you know what i mean like things just like continuously like get passed down like in memory too right like when someone dies they're never really gone they've all like they're always there those memories those lessons those pictures if they exist things like that no one is ever really gone and that's sad i almost hate that it's too, it's too poetic, you know? The pepper hello gives me such blue, blues clues energy. That's actually the, that's why I say it. Hello. It's a combination of blue and a boo uh, from Aladdin. Hello. Hello. Aladdin. <laughs> Though set slightly off the ground, this appears to be a door, while the objects to the left could be letterboxes. The door's rusted shut and the film of dust all over suggests no one has come through in a long, long time. This is kind of given like futuristic Amarat, to be honest. It's fascinating what people, such culture, such art, such inventions. Oh, that came before? I know, right? History is neat, but it makes my mind like hoobly boobly shoobly. Am I gonna fight Meteon here? This looks like an arena. There is someone there waiting for me. Oh, is it Alize? In the distance, you glimpse Alize picking her way through the ruins, but otherwise, find no signs of life. Your call echoes faintly before being swallowed by the silence. Swallowed by the silence? I'm using that in my fanfic. That's good. Swallowed by the silence. I'm trying to see if there are ways to reach the nearby aisles, just in case Meteon is bluffing. Oh, you are. I'm not losing you yet, baby cakes. I am not losing you yet. Don't even fucking joke about that. 
Okay, but where's my son? Is he with y'all? <laughs> Hello, friends. Is my son here? Have you seen my boy? <laughs> Y'all seen my boy? Where's my son? I don't know where my son is. That's all right. Oh, oh, I like your fit. I like your fit. Lone Star? Oh my god, we have Action Star and Lone Star? Slay. This place is reminiscent of a bar, but neither patrons or staff are anywhere to be seen. Um, there's a lot of people here, actually. Actually. Good night, Shark! Take care! Egg-shaped containers line the shelves, with a loose few sitting on the counters. Vessels with the beverages, in all likelihood. Venue bustling with activity until it was not. Okay, speak with Alize. Alright. This is grim. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I don't want Popeyes. It's 2 a.m. Still want Popeyes. Pepper, take a look at this. If the road was a little longer, we could take it just beneath the dead sun. But I suppose this is where the reconstruction ends. How about you? Did you find anything of interest? I noticed the same things. Cups left upon tables, chairs out of place. I don't know what happened here, but I do not. If I do know, I don't want to be alone anymore. Oh, baby. It is kind of giving Amarat. It is giving Amarat. You know, everyone just running. <laughs> I don't know. I actually had Popeye today, and did you shit? Yeah, it's officially the two-year anniversary of Endwalker, and we're gonna finish Endwalker on the two-year anniversary. Can you believe that? This is monumental, what the fuck? We've searched enough for now. Let's find out if you know about what we've learned. Man. I don't think I'm ready to cry again. I don't know if I can. Oh, there he is. I can't imagine. I honestly can't imagine what playing this expansion was like during COVID. There's so much of this that, like, is making me feel seen and, like, comfortable and warm because of the stuff that, like, like, has been affecting me. But, like, I cannot imagine the impact that this expansion had on people during COVID when everyone around us was like dying and we were scared of getting sick and we couldn't be with our loved ones and we've lost so much like I can't imagine what that was like because like I'm sitting here and like there's so many things that the characters are saying that like are really hitting home and, and making me feel good. Like I was telling Nissan when we uh, had dinner the other night that like this game has taught me so much. Like it's taught me how to be patient. It's taught me how to love. It's taught me like so many little things, so many little life lessons. It just feels like a warm blanket. James, that's really sad. I lost a friend to COVID months before Ed Walker, and he was the one that got me into 14 during Stormblood. So yeah, my six-photo journey was for them. Oh, James, I'm so sorry. <sighs> I 
I think I told you that my favorite lesson from this game is that no one is beyond redemption. Yeah, and that's something that I took away from this game too. And it's something that like I also just firm oh it's snowing. It's also just something that like I firmly believe in as well. Like and my friends hate me for it, but they don't hate me for it. But I am very stubborn in that sense where like yeah, no one is like is far gone, you know? Fuck. Okay, well, let's talk to Alfino. Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh, and it's a voiced cutscene. I think. Did you find anything? No. This place is completely deserted. And I can't see how we're supposed to move on from here. <gasps> There's a bit I. of a pussy hanging out. It's oh my god, I saw the crotch lines. There are no denizens to bar our path, yet there is no way forward. For another mystery, we did find signs of very recent life. You'd swear everyone just vanished into thin air. I wonder how many ruined worlds like this has Meteon seen? Ah. Oh. Could it be? Yes. Yes, I believe I may have puzzled this out. Okay, Professor Layton, what's up? Despite how it appears, it's no different this time. There is someone here who has wished for this ruin. And I believe that together, Alize and I can overcome their will. I'm sorry, but there is a chance, and I must seize it. For everyone. And for myself. Oh, that's why it's called You're Not Alone! I will not pretend otherwise. I have my fears. <laughs> not for myself, but for you. The last to remain. I'm just you are no stranger to carrying the burden of others. But I can only imagine how heavy the weight would be this time. As your friend, I cannot bear the thought of making you suffer so. Then why suggest such a thing? Yeah, you tell him, bitch. The fuck? It's too much to ask of anyone, even her. Why must she be the one? Why must she fight alone? More than a hero. She's a dear friend. Yeah, I am. Not only to us, but to so many others. There are so many people in the world who care for you, and yet... And yet... <laughs> Alize, I have an idea. Given the nature of this realm, it may be possible to do more than unbar our friend's path. We might also pave her a new one. For instance, 
a path where she finds happiness at journey's end. <sighs> this much, I think we can believe with the utmost conviction, no matter how deep <sighs> our despair. But they're just babies! <laughs> so please, believe in us too, and press on. Thank well, you. Why would you agree to that? What are oh. you? <laughs> if the plan's decided, then let's not dally. <sighs> I'm gonna fucking punt this goddamn bird. I'm gonna be Peter's ah, biggest op. There you I are. I swear to God. It was as I said, was it not? It was. We couldn't find anyone. But this place isn't entirely deserted, is it? You are here. <laughs> you sought out a star of promise she said, and mm. found a ruined husk. Like us. You explored the devastation. Like us, you were stricken. Horrified by the thought that so many lives could be snuffed out as if they were worth nothing. And the thought that you would have to bear the terrible tidings to Hermes. That which you saw and felt, you shared with your sisters. As did they share their own grim findings with you. Overcome by the pervasive despair of these stars, some of you inadvertently ushered their peoples to their mm -hmm. ends. Mm -hmm. Knowing the horrors you know, anyone yeah. would feel the same. They would fear what lies ahead and oh, struggle God. to move forward. Oh, fear? I had forgotten that such a thing existed. Swear to God, if I can so get a plushie of Medion, I will be her with a bat. <laughs> if you can remember, then you can still face and overcome your own fear. Why? I don't like don't. Uh. To significant emotion. If the despair I command is as a raging river. Then fear is but a trickling stream. <sighs> it can do nothing to alter my You have my taken flow. everything from me! You spoke with the Aya, yes? Heard their tale of what awaits the universe. It's true. The stars grow colder and more distant. Eventually, all will enjoy frozen solitude. Using the power of dynamis, I'm hastening that process. In so doing, nothing will be born ever again. Everyone will remain dead. Love a goth bitch, but not this one. Alas, it will take time for that to happen. So in mercy, I sent you my gift. To spare you needless suffering. Don't worry. Even if no living witnesses remain to mark the event, I'll make certain that Atheris has a proper end. Oh, she about to get it. Look, they can beat her, because then it's like kid on kid violence. For all the power you wield, you're more fearful than the familiar you used to be. That Meteon feared simply to move forward. But your fear is such that you've given up on everything. Whew. I know it well. That sense of defeat. I've tasted my fair share of it. But as many times as we've fallen down, we've learned how to pick ourselves That's up. That's my girl. And carry That's on. my fucking girl, chat. We take each other's hand, share in each other's courage, follow in each other's footsteps, and turn sorrow into strength. <laughs> 
There oh, are times so when we fail. We bear wounds that do not heal. Me, me, but these experiences me. are part of life, <laughs> and they make us stronger. We, we rise, fall, and, and rise, rise again. again. Oh, they're sick now. after that what is the next step <laughs> is it bat time oh. <gasps> oh all right pepper let's grab that baseball bat bitch Look at that! Look how beautiful that is! My twins did that! Oh, also, hello Isaac. I see you in chat. Oh, can we go play in the snow? <laughs> I need- I wanna go play in the snow. Earlier in Old Charlian? Oh my god. Oh my god. Mommy, oh God. Don't tell me that's happening right now. Cryo? Are okay. you all right? Uh, it's nothing, just a headache. <sighs> They'll be fine. I know they will. Apologies for the interruption. A man arrived on the last ferry, an associate of the Scions. Should I be concerned? He wishes to speak with you at once. An associate of the Scions? Who could it be? Gaius? I hear, I just hear heavy armor. Why are we gasping? Why are we gasping? Or Chiffon's back from the dead. Xenos. Ashley Tisdale! It all comes back to high school musical. It all comes back to high school musical. <laughs> I'm scared. What the fuck is this? In this city devoid of life, you sense the presence of another. Oh yes, normal music again! Yes! The sorrow of a thousand thousand worlds weigh heavy, and yet you can walk on! Again, it's High School Musical. I didn't think the vocals would be back. I did not think the vocals would be back. Oh, fuck. Hold on, let me text Isaac real quick. Alright, 
Just this one chat. Oh, I'm walking. I'll be right there behind you. I don't remember who that was. Mods, I may need you. I may need you here. Ardbert? That was Ardbert? Okay. Okay, this is not gonna be good. I don't... This is gonna be really bad because I can't tell voices apart from each other, unfortunately. This is gonna be really bad. I'm so sorry. You know what we were talking about earlier? About, like, not getting the reaction you want? This is gonna be one of those moments, chat, and I'm so sorry. Do this. Despair. You are not without allies. Who could I possibly get next? Habulimo? Gosetsu? Oh my god, it's really snowing. Wait, yeah, what are we at? What is our cry counter at chat?
right. Let's see how much of this we can get through chat, okay? We got this, right? Man, this game really does not want me to forget about Orshifa. All right, mods, I'm gonna need you. What we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. I don't recognize that voice. It sounded like, I mean, I recognized it, kind of. I feel like I've heard it before. I've definitely heard it before. Oh, that was Merle Whip. Oh, Mommy, that was Mommy? I, I would not have remembered that. God, there's so many. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. That, that's not a lid of us, right? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. Uh, that was em that was Emmerich. Well, see, told you. I told you. Oh, am I gonna? Um, is this gonna be okay? So we got Limsa. We got Ishgard. Who are we gonna get now? While it is true that man succumbs all too often oh, to well, anger and avarice, that's he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. That's. Oh, that's Kane Asana. No, it's not. That's. I know. That's Pinky. I forgot her name. Nanamo, yes! Nanaimo bar or whatever. Yes! I got one! Oh, I got two. I got two. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Is that Roban? And we, for our part, are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. That's Kane Asana, right? Fuck, there's so many of them! Why? Save your tears for the morning. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them. Oh, I know this voice. That's Yen. Right? From tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. That one, but it's not <laughs> a future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never have foreseen. Yet miracles do happen, so let us pray and will our friends home. Matoya? Oh, Beck! Oh my god. And that other one was Papa? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is a buzzkill chat. My memory, I told you, it's not good. Like, uh, literally, the only one that got me was the one that should <laughs> I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. Green? Strong art thou. I don't know, but my pussy is throbbing. <laughs> oh, of course, of course, of course, it's the dragon. Continue to serve as a beacon to others. Appropriate reaction. Is that Heidelin? Was that mommy? Bro, this is a long fucking RP walk. Oh, Minfilia, ass same shit. <laughs> Let's finish this. Oh. Well, I was I, okay. I was gonna say, is that Ardbert? Okay, I I figured. I figured that was him. I figured. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, chat. Here, the path ends. There is no way to reach our nest. I don't need to go to your fucking nest. I'll beat you right here, bitch. I told you. Resignation and acceptance reign in this place. 
the rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled, whose prayers were unheard, whose labors were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. Oh, and I forgot I'm wearing those damn fucking earrings. You should have remained on a Theris. You could wipe my ass out, bitch. Struggle will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come, let me relieve you of your burden. Mm -mm. You have suffered enough. The pussy does not go down without a fight. Oh, is them? <laughs> Asm, whatever. The crystal butt plug. The mother plug! Asm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace? That's why it's too soon for this to end. You must triumph. Be safe, all of you, and come back. I am ever grateful. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. Do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. I bid them remember, but all this time, I'm the one who had forgotten. A right fool you've made of me, Hermes. And to add insult to injury, I've been denied a sound rest, forced to watch this clamorous show. Oh, come now. It's been a gripping tale. Unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice, sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos. It's got it all. I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch Enraptured from the Storms. But I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? Half-faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? Worry not. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not any more. That being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. I suppose you needed me to tie it all together, these frayed threads of our history. But knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it too. Oh, yes. I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, you'll get no applause from me. 
A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Hey! Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. You will not end our journey. That is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris, past and present. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus, focus, and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. Oh, that... Ours ah. is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create. Meteor, though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did oh. not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk and run, and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. These Elpis blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. So go on. Call them back to your side. May you ever walk in the light. Ah, how disappointing. Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. I love him. <laughs> You'll find a way regardless. Honestly. This is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. Indeed, she said. that we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it and see that we all return to Etheris. Aye, as soon as we've averted the final days. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good to see you again. 
Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it, together. Dialogue option. It's over, Medion. Come with us. Ah, oh, it's over, bitch. <laughs> it's over, bitch. And the music cuts. It's gonna be dramatic. Oh. Turtling. Hear me. The voice is within. Crying in pain. Wailing in sorrow. Hurting. Hurting. End it. Silence it. Silence our song of oblivion. Way is open. They can proceed. So it seems. You're leaving. Of course. The encore is finished. And I will not suffer myself to live again by Heidelin's magic. But more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Spare me your pity. I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. Only then may it rise again, and a new tale begin with new parts for all to play. <sighs> Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's North? The fabled golden cities of the New World. The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles. What about Mericidia, the southern continent? Do you know aught of its present state of affairs? I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. All of which is to say, expand your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Some 
of the civilizations in the reflections will surprise you. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. <laughs> I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, don't be that way. Chocolate, and it better not be a flower. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was just about to mix up. friggin' thing. This is like a, this is a small, like, a little, like, RP slash OC thing that, like, we made up on the spot. Um. Charlemagne's um, fanfic. He has it so that um, like Pepper lives in, in Ishgard with Orshima and they're a couple and whatever and this is like Enduring Heaven's Word. And then I guess like End of a Realm Reborn I guess for him. Um, they um uh, Orshima and, and um, Pepper take care of the, the kids in, in foundation and, and stuff um, that are like orphans and stuff they yeah they, they take care of them and then in my um, in one of my other streams um, Orshifan gave me this friggin chocolate and said it was from the children and so <laughs> so Jay just gave me it <laughs> and said the children wait for you to come home <laughs> 
this finally and if not t if not tomorrow well no we have to we have to because it's the anniversary of Endwalker we have to we have no choice it's got it we got to finish it before 11:59 Eastern on the 7th so this is the stopping point yeah this is definitely where we're gonna stop it <laughs> thanks everybody for waiting for me I appreciate it <laughs> have a long way to go. absolutely cannot okay okay it's long okay okay i tried i really tried chat but we got really far we got really really far i'll be live again tomorrow um i don't know what my schedule for tomorrow is yet um but yeah we'll finish this tomorrow fuck oh my god Someone in chat said, um, it's funny how people are quick to condemn Emmett, but not me on or whatever it is they said. And it's like, I just want to, I just want to comment on that very quickly. I see a lot of people say this bullshit about characters all the time and they always spew the whole, oh, it's because she's a girl or oh, it's because he's hot or whatever. And like, do y'all remember my Shadowbringers playthrough? I didn't like Emmett. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> But I had two expansions to learn about this character. You know, like... <laughs> no, I don't mean that physically. I mean in general. It's the same thing with Lise. I didn't like Lise either. Until Stormblood ended. You know, like... 
your opinions on characters can change. It's like Solus. I hate him, but I love him as a character, you know? But yeah. Uh, yeah, Emmett's a character that absolutely grew on me. There's so many characters where I was like, eh, but then later on I was like, oh, you know, I didn't like the twins and then I loved them. You know? That's storytelling. You know? That's storytelling. Um, but, yeah. Thanks everyone for coming and for cheering me on. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, this is where we're gonna end the stream. That was such a long one. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with me. Talk about meaty and more after finishing. Y'all are so annoying. No shit, I will. I'm not even done the game. Come on. I like Medion's character. I still want to beat her with a bat because she took away everyone that I love, but now they're back, so I guess, like, we're okay. Still have to go fuck her up though in her yoke. <laughs> uh. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks everybody for hanging out with me. I really fucking appreciate it. That was so much fun. I cried so much. But before we hop off, what is the official? <laughs> what is the official cry counter at? I think we're at like 108 kind of what it feels like and also welcome um, we have a lot of new people in the chat and community welcome everybody my name is Syra. i'm a final fantasy 14 streamer and i have been for the last two years and we are finally finishing <laughs> it's just so crazy okay cool we'll do 108 seems like most of us agree that it's well this game got me we went from what 98 to 108. Well, I cried 20 times. I cried 20 times today. No, it's 10. I can't do math. We're not gonna talk about it. Okay, and on that note, that's where I gotta go to bed. <laughs> we're just, we're, this, is, this is where we this is where we end. Holy moly. Ravioli. Fuck. Oh my god, my head. Oh my god, my head, chat. My head. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I need to sleep. Yeah, so we'll be back tomorrow uh, with more N Walker. Don't forget to follow me on social media and join the Discord server. That way you can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans and get notified for when I go live next. If I haven't added you in game and you want to be added, let me know. I will go through my follower list, our follower list, uh, my friends list when I can and remove people that I do not know and or do not play with. That way I can make sure I have space for all the viewers who like running around with me and playing with me. But yeah. Bye friends. I will see you probably in the next 12 to 15 hours. We'll try to I'll try to start earlier, maybe around 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern. And we'll crank this shit out. Who knows? I'll let you guys know in the Discord server and on Twitter. <sighs> Bye friends. Hi! Mods, can you bump the, the Discord and stuff? Thank you. Bye! I gotta change this end screen, man. I gotta fucking change this screen, bro.